standing for a backhand leader at guard wearing jersey number five, June Reyes. A versatile athlete and excellent defender at guard for number four, Merlin Castello. Solid rebounder and strong position defender, playing center forward, number 17, Kevin Ramos. <laughs> playing guard, a deadly long-range bomber, number 7, Ruel Gomez. down low on both ends of the floor. At center, number 24, Chris Bolado. <laughs> the club's top shot locker and one of its better rebounders playing center, number 32, Edward Wigno. An excellent slasher and scorer from the swingman position. The 1995 Rookie of the Year, number 22, Jeffrey Cagliasso. <laughs> the team's leading rebounder, the 1994 PBA Most Improved Player Awardee, at forward number 16, Ball. The Hawk Hawkins! Arguably the top point guard in the game today. Wearing jersey number 14, Johnny the Flying A. A superior inside-outside operator with a knack for making the clutch baskets. Number six, Jojo Lastimosa. <laughs> Alaska head coaches Tim Cohn, assistant coaches are Joel Banal and Arik Del Rosario. A big round of applause as they get ready for game number five, the PBA All-Filipino Conference Finals. Okay, mga kaibigan, narinig po ninyo yung mga dramatic introductions at tuwag-tuwa yung mga tao pagka ganito mga intro natin sa ating game. This is game... 45. Thank goodness. We still... ...sa buong Pilipinas na sumusubaybay sa Philippine Basketball Association. Punong-puno po ang Araneta Coliseum at handang-handa na ang mga tao rito upang masaksihan ang isa na namang makasaysayang sagupaan between Alaska Milk and the Pure Foods TJ Hot Dogs. Nakikita po ninyo sa inyong mga screens ang mga first five o starting units ng dalawa ko po na Huinyo Abarientos, Lastimosa, Hawkins at Cariaso para sa Alaska Pure Foods with Cotinera, Racena, Capacio, Reyes, at Evangelista. Wala si Patrimonio sa starting lineup ng Pure Foods. And Pure Foods going with a combination that has muscle. And yung Reyes, taong bato. Nandiyan din si Rey Evangelista to play defense and claim the rebounds. Siya nga pala mga kaibigan ng ating mga referee para sa larong ito ay sina Baile Despa, Eddie De Leon at si referee Tangonan. Yan po mga kaibigan ng tatlong uh, mga giloho na siya po magpapatrolya. Dito po sa larong ito. Scoreless tie so far. Glenn Capasso has it. Nakakita na po sa loob. Lumayap. Nahawakan o natapit ng konti ni Bong Hawkins. Wins a steal by Osir Resena. Pero gumulong po palabas ang bola. Maagang maaga pa. Kinito. Grabe na hiyawan dito sa larong ito. Ito. Tanuri natin itong replay. And there you have Resena almost with a steal. Running out of space. Daniel Barrientos to Jeffrey Cariaso. Nag-aabang na pasa si uh, Coach Video. Ito na. Datapik ni Glenn Capasso. Nakuha ni Edwin Reyes. 
Da war es ja vorher zu Reh, Evangelista. Against Hawkins, Evangelista scores underneath the first two points of the ball game. And that's a good sign for Purefoots, scoring in transition, going for the high percentage shot. Und dann haben wir getan in Garina. If you don't get the transition basket, you've got to execute to get the high percentage shot. Nun, high percentage shot. Und wieder am Tomaso. Und jetzt auch mit der Miss. Edmund Reyes, para sa rebound. Bringe ich Ray Evangelista. Schade, ich war ein Baller, para sa Pure Foods TJ Hotdogs. Lumos auf Kelas Tomaso, das ist ein Double Team. Alayu Nigeri Codinera, from the inside. And he's drawing the big man outside with him. Inside operation, yes! Und das ist ein Junge. Abang di Las Limosa, alam niya kaliwete si Ray Evangelista. Pero nagfumble na kontra si Ray Evangelista. And that proved to be a blessing. At ngayon po, mga kaibigan, ang apat na puntos ng Pure Foods, lahat galing kay Ray Evangelista. Evangelista enjoying the height advantage over Las Limosa at the low block. And Evangelista has the rebound. After that, best by Jojo Las Limosa. Mukhang wala na sakit yun si Ray Evangelista at hindi na nakasuot ng t-shirt. Tama. Dalawang laro, dalawang games, nasuot-suot niya yung may manggas na t-shirt sa loob ng kanyang sando dahil nilalagnap daw ito si Ray Evangelista. Glenn Capasio ngayon. Laba kay Carriazo. Codinera from the outside. Yes! Six to nothing lead by the Pure Foods TJ Hot Dogs in game number five. Nine and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. Jojo Lastimosa, sumaksak sa loob. Nakita si Bob Hawkins, libre! Kung matatandaan po ninyo mga kaibigan, kanina sa ating pre-game, ay karamihan po na sinasabi ng mga taga-Alaska at kayo na rin mga taga-Pure Foods, kung sino makauna, ika nila, yung maging agresibo sa unahan pa lang, ay malaki ang tsansa na manalo sa laro. Tina natin kung sino, o ba? Ay agresibong agresibo ang Pure Foods ngayon. Hindi lang agresibo, but they are making their shots. Yes. Particularly from the outside. They've taken two attempts from the outside. Parehong pumasok. Isa kay Cordillera at isa kay uh, Rasela. They have a six-point lead. We're talking about Pure Foods. Guinho, binigay kay Carriazo. Four seconds on the shot clock. Lestimosa is open. Three-point country, yes! Jolas connects with a triple V. At alam mo, kinita, napapansin ko kanina sa introduction ng mga players, usually, mas maraming fans ang Pure Foods kesa sa Alaska. Aminin natin yan. Pero sa gabi ito, mga kaibigan, medyo na nabanaag ko, naobserbahan ko, mas malakas ang sigawan ng mga taga-Alaska. Kapagkat marami nagpunta rito na nag-aabang ng celebration pagkatapos ng larong ito. Totoo yan, everybody loves a winner. And as you mentioned, Alaska needing just one more win. Isa pa nga. Ika nga to be able to clinch this championship. Now, there are many defensive adjustments in Pure Foods, and I think Pure Foods is uh, catching Alaska a little bit off guard. For instance, one adjustment that we've seen is Rea Bangalista taking on Johnny Barrientos in the back court. Well, look, they did that back then, and uh, it worked yes. for them. But let's see if that's the same match-up here. The match-up here is Rasela who is going to be able to play Johnny Barrientos. That's the basketball of Hawkins. Two of them, our Pure Foods 8-5. Abarietos. Rasela para nagpapatay sa kanya. Abarietos puts it up. Short on the tie. Glenn Capasso para sa rebound for Pure Foods. Capasso umatake para sa Pure Foods. TJ Hotdog. Binigay na naman kay Ray Evangelista. Evangelista binapatay ni Jojo Lastimosa. He is double team. He is triple team. Jerry Codinera. Binatay ni Poch Winyo. Dilabas ngayon kay Glenn Capasso. Capasso. Rasela is open. Wala. And Abarietos for the rebound for Alaska. Jaria Barrieto, zigzagging, Carriazo, heading it out to Bong Hawkins! At isa na lang, ang labang na Pure Foods, our score, standing at 8-7, dito po sa ating first quarter. Yan ang speed game ng Alaska, and they always look for the extra pass. They always look for the open teammates. So unselfish on the part of the Alaska players. Tira ni Capasso, wala. Jerry Cotillera, turn around jumper, wala pa rin. At magkakaroon ng loose ball foul, lumipad si Glenn Capasso, ngunit natangaran siya ni Jeffrey Carriazo. Tatawagan po ng unang personal foul si Jeff Carriazo. Samantala, unang substitution para sa Pure Foods TJ Hot Dogs nila ba si Ray Evangelista. Pinasok na naman ang isa pa rin Leiteño. Ay Leiteño, pura yung Leiteño. Si Ruben De La Rosa po ang pumasok ngayon para kay Ray Evangelista. Ed, sumasama na yata ang field goal percentage from the outside. Nang Purefoods, and you hear, you have here the steal, and the counter steal by Rosella. Inside pass, broken up, Laguna Carriazo, Carriazo, forward to Lastimosa, over to Camacho, breaks it up, 
Ano naman ito? One turnover after another. Luis Alvarez sa box sa loob. Offensive foul. Tama yung tawag. De La Rosa, a little bit over-eager in his attempt to score. Panuri po natin muli. Good solid defense by Giorgio Lastimosa. Uh, medyo umilag si, uh, si Ruben De La Rosa, pero not enough. At napangga pa rin niya si Lastimosa, kaya tinawagin siya ng offensive foul. Kung nakita ninyo ang pagpapakadyak ni Coach Chotreyes, talaga naman makikita niyo ang gigil na gigil sa Coach Chotreyes. Part na nakita natin, isang malaki is taking on Johnny Abariantos when he crosses the timeline. Then, when the half-court set of Alaska sets up, Rasela takes on Johnny Abariantos. But I think what Short Reyes wants to do is to have a big man take on Abariantos as he brings down the ball. Now, the reason for that, of course, is to obstruct his vision. All right, that's okay, so Johnny Abariantos. Come on, Shaq! Let's go! Yes! Alaska. Alaska takes the lead, 9-8. Alex Araneta viewing the action here at courtside. Alam mo pare, nakasabi natin kanina, itong outside shooting ng Buell Woods kanina, napakaganda, 2 out of 2. But as we mentioned, they have missed their last three outside shots. They cannot rely on that outside shot. They've got to take the ball up close. Here we go once more on the attack, Alaska. Coach Chotres, ayun, nagwawala. Nagwawala si Coach Chotres dahil uh, he felt there was a foul. I think he will be given a technical. Yes, yes. he has been called a technical. Yes. But in a pa, did you want to get a technical? The referee Ernie De Leon. No, palamang uh, unang uh, bukso ni Coach Chot Reyes. Uh, and ito, hinahamon na ni Coach Chot Reyes. Sabi niya ganun. <laughs> Tawagin niyo pa ako. Well, alam natin yung emotion na uh, kinito eh. Talaga namang uh, napaka taas dito. Meantime, we have a timeout. Gordon. Okay, mga kaibigan, pumasok po yung technical free throw ni Georgia Lastimosa. And so now, Alaska leads it by 2, 10, 8. Alalahari po ninyo kanina, nag lumamang ng 6 ang pure foods at 6 to nothing. Pero ito na po, Alaska na ang lumalamang. Georgia Lastimosa, nabit tayo ng bola. Ed, Saka po na si Alvin Patrimonio yes. is already... Papagitin ko sana ngayon. Oh. Patrimonio is inside in place of Jerry Cotiniera. At nakita po ninyo, ito po ang nangyari kanina si Coach Chot Reyes. Talagang, uh, he was livid after he felt that there was a non-call nung drive ni Jericho Dinera. Well, I, feel, I feel that Coach Chot Reyes wants to fire up his voice. And you ask the question, why so early will he explode? Uy! Offensive foul. Referee Baile Desma calling it at uh, pumapalakpak si Coach Chot Reyes. E, tingnan natin ito. Ayun. Natapig ni uh, Alvin Patrimonio ang kanyang bantay at tinawagin siya ng offensive foul right in front of referee by Ledesma. Well, so far, very early in this game, not a very good voice being shown by Gilford. And talk about voice, that's a turnover. <laughs> and uh, not only could shoot me as bola, sabi niya, oh, baka naman bigay niyo sa Alaska bola. <laughs> Okay, medyo mainit. Yeah, yeah. Mainit na mainit yeah. talaga si uh, Coach yes. Chotres. Ayan, nakikita ninyo, pure foods mga kaibigan, na uh, overtake na ng Alaska. Well, that is the reason why Coach Reyes wants to fire up his boys because the hot dogs have not been able to score the last four minutes. He wants the boys to show some fire on the court. Alam mo, pinito uh, sa kasulukuyan, uh, nakikita ko ang hassle ng uh, pure foods ay eh, napakalakas. Ilang uh, agaw na yung nagagawa nila. Yun lamang, eh, hindi po mapasok yung mga tira nila. Well, again, that's uh, a carryover from the last game when they shot less than 30 percent. Eh, ito naman ang pumapasok. Well, Giorgio Lastimosa, hindi nila binantayan. Nalibre po doon sa gilid. At nakita niyo naman yung mga fans ng Alaska. Talaga naman, they're really whooping it up. They can feel and they can taste the uh, championship. At uh, Rebendo Larosa, kapos. Five-point lead by Alaska, 13-8. Johnny Abarietos, binabatayan ni De La Rosa. Abarietos pa rin. Inikutan si De La Rosa. Carriazo sa bandang uh, gilid. Goes baseline. Short chopper by Carriazo. Wala, hindi pumasok. Nakuha ni Edmond Reyes. Pero meron daw uh, holding foul. Nalaki na sa referee de Leon. Johnny Abarietos picking up his first personal foul. This is the third team foul for Alaska Milk in the first period. Ampir puts merong isa. We have 4 minutes and 11 seconds remaining in the first period 
At meron na naman tayong substitution dito sa posisyong ito. Nakakatatlo na si Coach Chow Treyes. Una niyang uh, nilaro si Evangelista, sumunod si De La Rosa, ngayon naman si Buong Ravena. Ito naman si Coach Tim Cohen. He's very comfortable with the starting yeah. point. It's a speed combination. Andiya si Carriazo, Abarrientos, and Lastimosa. And he likes to use that combination because it sets the pace for his team. Ito na naman si Abarrientos. He is the heart and soul of this team. Pumukol kanina si Buong Ravena na ika nga eh, hindi expected pero nakuha naman ni Johnny Abarrientos yung rebound. Pang-apat na rebound na yan ni Johnny Abarrientos dito sa larong ito. Abarrientos is open! Masyado malakas, Carriazo! Foul na din by Edmund Reyes. Uy, at medyo malakas yata yung foul na yun. Uh, uh, Carriazo is holding on to the back of his head. Medyo si Carriazo po ay uh, nasaktan. Tinan natin ito. Nakukuha po ni Carriazo yan. At sa panggigigil ni Edmond Reyes, ayaw niyang yeah. iyon, no? Ayaw niyang maka-score si Carriazo sa ilalim na tamaan po sa likod ng kanyang ulo. Well, the mortal sin in that particular play of Burefoods was there was no body to screen off Jeffrey Carriazo. Carriazo, not exactly the team's top rebounder, but still was able to snare that offensive rebound because there was no body that separated him from the ball and the basket. Well, kaya nga na sinabi mo, kinito dito sa team ng Pure Foods, eh, kinala itong si Edmund Reyes na higa nga itaong bato. So, sinalage niya ng uh, sweet shooting na si Jeffrey Carriazo. So, isa lang ang pwede mangyari dyan. Isa lang ang pwede masaktan doon sa sagupang yun. <laughs> Binato si uh, Jeffrey Carriazo. Itaong bato. Si uh, uh, Edmund Reyes, uh, Apparently, ang kanyang uh, objective doon ay eh, talagang hindi maka-score si uh, Carriazo sa ilalim, hindi siya mabigyan ng 3-point play. And in that respect, he succeeded, although he also picked up a foul. Well, of course, the intention of uh, Edmund Reyes is that in a situation like this where there's a lot of pressure, you will want the player whom you will foul to earn the shots from the free throw line rather than just get an easy layup. And it looks like his gamble paid off. Carriazo missing his first charity. Isa pa, siyempre, gusto mo maramdaman ang kalaban ng depensa. Kapag kat, uh, next time around, medyo dadala mong isip yung uh, tao na sumaksak ulit. O ba? Kita mo naman, ibang style naman yung uh, fan na yun, ha? Bong Ravena, Glenn Capasso. O, oh, sir, Rasala will set it up for Pure Foods. They're behind by six. Ganyan din yung lamang nila kanina. Six to nothing. Pero Roma Chatter man ngayon ang Alaska. Glenn Capasso trying to get closer. Sees Ravenna inside. At uh, referee Tangonan spots a foul. Pushing foul underneath. Tama ni Bong Hawkins. First personal foul on Pure the Hawks. Hawk. Pure Foods are playing with a very small lineup. Wala si Codiniera. And Patrimonio, you know that uh, he is really not 100%. Okay. Eric Altamirano said he's 98%. Hindi pa rin 100. I don't... <laughs> I think he's certainly much more, much less than 98%. Uh, We're trying to observe how he moves, but uh, you know this is he's not uh, moving inside. <laughs> An unexpected shot ni Edmund Reyes. Well, this is what uh, Pure Foods used as a formula to win game number three. Naging very unpredictable ang kanilang offense because they did not go to Alvin Patrimonio as the first option because Patrimonio hardly played in that contest. Well, he played the first minute and a half pagkatapos eh, naging cheerleader na lang siya sapagkat uh, medyo masakit talaga nun yung uh, kanyang injury. Well, that was uh, a long silence broken by Edmund Reyes at ngayon, meron na naman silang pagkakataon pero Bong Ravenna missed on a jumper. Ito na, fast break play ng Alaska Bong Hawkins against Patrimonio. Bibigyan po ng dalawang free throw si Bong Hawkins. 3-on-2 situation, Patrimonio, no recourse but to foul Hawkins, take a look at it again. Well, Hawkins, replay. Hawkins was really going to challenge uh, Alvin Patrimonio's defense, but uh, Patrimonio gave him the foul. We have this timeout. Bob Hawkins at the line for two free throws. Boy, the boy. Si uh, Rudy Fernandez po yan, mga kaibigan. At, uh, Mahilig na mahilig din yan sa sports. Hindi po sinente yan ng organization ng mga artista. At nagkaroon sila ng mga Star Olympics. Yan ang pet project yan. Okay, mga kaibigan. 15-10. A five-point lead for Alaska. About two minutes and two seconds remaining. In the first period, Alvin Patrimonio. Naagaw bola. Na-double team siya ron at naagawan. 
And he'll be tagged for another turnover. Eto si Hawkins coming in and he will be fouled going strong to the hoop. Edmund Reyes will be guilty of his second personal foul. At yan po ay pang-apat na na team foul ng Pure Foods TJ Hot Dogs. Partner, one indication why we say that Patrimonio is not 100% was that particular play. When he had the ball at low post, he could not outmaneuver the defense of Alaska. In fact, yeah. at collapse ng uh, defense ng Alaska kay Alvin Patrimonio, as you see in very animated conversation, the PBA Commissioner Emilio June Bernardino with uh, Tommy the Manoto. Commissioner Tommy Manoto of the yes. Professional Golfers Association of the Philippines. Okay, 17 10. Ito puntos na lamang ng Alaska Milk. Din ko po mara ng ball game for the first time. By Johnny Abarrientos. Pangala mo na yan. Ni Johnny Abarrientos. Coach Chotres, very active in shuffling his men. If you notice, Ed, he's continuously putting fresh legs inside the court. Dito Pumarin, for instance, tapos si Abang Liste uh, is about to check in. Rodney Santos is in the game. Well, wala na rito yung starting unit ni Coach Chot Reyes, except for Edmund Reyes. Yes. And that's Rodney Santos, laban kay Carriazo. Santos, sumagsak sa loob, dilabas kay Dito Pumarin. Pumarin na galangan, Bong Ravena, lumalapit inside the lane. He misses the shot and he will be awarded two charities. Pero ang foul na tatawagin, tinan natin, uy, yung Johnny Abarientos naman ito. Pangatlo na yan. That is the third personal foul on Johnny Abarrientos. Maaga pa ito, kinito. Well, with 1.30 to go, usually when a key player like Abarrientos picks up a second foul in the first quarter, uupo na. But Coach Tim Cohn took a very big gamble in keeping Abarrientos inside the game. Nakabasa naman yun ni Coach Chotres. Kanya nag-drive in ito si Ravena at nakahuli ng uh, pangatlong foul ni Johnny Abarrientos. Actually, kinito kanina pa nandun si Jun Reyes sa official stable. <laughs> eh. Oo. Papasok na sana siya. Wala Kaya, na pagkakataon. Nauna sa oh, oh. pangatlong foul ni Johnny Abarrientos. Dalawa sa mundo yun eh. Oh, alam mo, gampit din yan ang Pure Foods. And take a look at uh, Alaska's run, 15-3. Ito si Gomez na ako. Ay, nako. Baseline jumper. Ayan ang uh, role ni Ruel Gomez. At alam na alam ni Ruel yan. Kahit na uh, ilang minuto lang siya maglalaro. Pero pagka nakapukul yan ng maganda, at uh, umiskor yan, ika nga ay sulit na. Ito si Ravena, of course, trying to low post uh, Roel Gomez. He has an advantage. Gomez not exactly Alaska's top defensive player. Kanya may recognition naman ito si Bong Ravena to drive on Gomez. Well, nasa penalty na po ang Alaska Milk. As a matter of fact, sobra-sobra eh, na sa penalty. Pitong uh, team foul na ang nakukumit nitong uh, Alaska. Kanya at uh, bibigyan na naman ang dalawang pagkakataon si Bong Ravena sa free throw line. Ang unay pumasok at naibaba po niya na bahagya. Yung lang kalamangan ng Alaska, 19 to 12 is the kind of seven point lead. Nabagit mo yung 17 fouls on Alaska. I think that's an indication that very aggressive ang depensa ng Alaska. Well, sa kasalukuyan, lumalabang sila ng anong na puntos. Ray Evangelista, medyo binubulabang si Jeffrey Carriazo. Ito na yung uh, track oh. And uh, alam mo yung si Coach Chotres, he really is a smart cookie. Nakita niya, wala na si Johnny Abarientos, and that's why he ordered a half-court track. Whoa! Poch Winio! Nakita niya na medyo nag-reach in si Bong Ravena sa kanyang likod. And he came up with a real big exclamation point on that slam dunk. Medyo nakakapanlupay pa yun pagka ikaw ang uh, kalaban eh. Uh, dinepensahan mo ng todo-todo pagkatapos eh, dinakdakan ka pa. Walang problema kasi dito sa Pure Foods uh, defense is that heavily concentrated na sila sa backcourt. So once you're able to Ito. break the half-court press, yun, makakawala yung malaki nila sa loob. Well, medyo sumugal din kasi si Bong Ravena. Yes. Uh, sumundot siya galing sa likod. Hindi naman niya napuha yung bola. Ari to si Bong Ravena. Binigyan siya ng pick to Ray Evangelista. Sa baksak sa loob, Bong Ravena. Siya pa rin. Wala pa rin. At tinapick ni Romel Gomez kay Bong Hawkins. 21-13, 8-point lead by Alaska Belk. June Reyes. Bounce pass to Romel Gomez. Gomez. Hawkins. Hawkins, good pick. Yes! Biggest lead in the ballgame, a 10-pointer by Alaska Belk. A 23-13. Ari to si Dindo Pumarin, dinabas kay Romero, balik ulit kay Pumarin, Pumarin with a three-point shot, wala! At 
the ball na guwabakas ang unang yugto ng game number five of the best of seven championship series between Alaska and Pure Foods. The Bokman have it 23-13. Opisa po na second quarter ng laro ito ng Alaska at Pure Foods for the championship of the 1996 All-Filipino Conference. Sumagsak si Rob Di Santos. At sa rebound play, merong loose ball pala nakita sa referee tangonan kay Poch Huinio. So pag-upisa po ng ating second quarter, labang ang Alaska Bok ng sampu. 23-13 is our score. Ed, napakatinding ang depensa na naman ng Alaska. And limiting Pure Foods to only 13 points. Another low for Pure Foods. Long Ravenna in and out. Ray Bagginista offensive rebound. That will count. That will count. With a foul. Uh, Jude Reyes ang tatawagan na kanyang unang personal foul. At uh, bibigyan po ng three-point play opportunity. Itong si Ray Evangelista. Look at him fly high on the, uh, off the offensive board. And the Pure Foods, or rather the Alaska League. Is cut down to eight. Wait, they beat that free throw. The rotation in coach uh, Tim Cohen uh, among his big players. Well, uh, we don't see too many, uh, too much rotation as you take a look at the field goal percentages in the first quarter. Pure Foods held down to less than 30 percent once more. Ganon din ang gitnatan parang carry over from game number four. Yung putong sinasabi natin that very limited ang rotation sa big men ni coach Tim Cohen. He's still sticking to Hawkins and Winyo. Hindi pa natin napapanuri to si Chris Bolado check in. Ito si Bong Hawkins double team kicks it out to Cariaso. Winyo. Cariaso with the offensive rebound. Wala pa rin. Ray Evangelista gets the rebound. But Pio Foods are ito ngayon. Si Dindo Pumaret. Pumaret. Go with Randy Santos. His last is close. And it is. At naibaba na po ang kalamangan ng Alaska to only six points. 23-17. That time, hindi nakaset up ang depensa ng Alaska. And I think the reason for that is because baka pagod na yung dalawa ni, dalawang malaki ni Coach Tim Cohn. They were not able to get back down on defense. Ito na. Bong Ravena with a good pick off dito Pumarin mabilis na binababa ang bola Ravena balik ulit kay Pumarin Pumarin si Baksak sa loob yes out the glass dito Pumarin 6 to nothing run here by Pure Foods to cut the lead down to only 4 at 23-19 now Pure Foods scoring in transition they're getting the jump on Alaska Alaska's defense not getting back quick enough Hawkins is open yes wala ka rin at wala ka tinag-tinag ito si Bong Hawkins alam ka rumaratsada ang Pure Foods pero yung ekspreso sa mukha niya ganun pa rin ito si Hawkins already with 11 points emotionless nga ito si Bong Hawkins ito yan parang hindi tinatalaban ng pressure dito po ba rin palabag yung tira and Cariaso with the rebound June Reyes bringing it up for the last of it you notice partner itong Pure Foods nahihirapan sila kung half court set hindi sila nakakapasok ng kanilang tira sa labas Nakaka-score sila sa transition, but not any half-court execution. Six-point lead by Alaska. Jericho Dinera. Nakita sa ibang hilista, kumakat sa loob. Wala! Iyon ang sinasabi ko. Nahihirapan sila sa half-court. Well, they had the right idea. Maganda sana yun. Hindi lang pumasok yun. Yes. Maganda ang penetration ni ibang hilista. But they're very wary of the interior defense of Alaska. Pockets de la Vascara, Jude Reyes. Parias was open for the jumper. Yes! And that time, hindi na challenge si Jeffrey Cariaso. Uncontested outside shot. And the lead has ballooned again to 8 points for Alaska Milka 27-19. Nasa second quarter po tayo. Nice pass by Ray Evangelista to Bong Ravena underneath. Pini-exploit nila yung mismatch. Ravena getting the edge over Rowell Gomez. Gomez trying to negate that advantage by fronting. Bong Rivena, but he paid the price. Nice backdoor pass on the lob. The pressure at the backcourt by Rodney Santos on June Reyes. Reyes for him. Gomez. Cariaso versus Rivena. Hope he can get a pass to Bong Hawkins. Ito na si Hawkins. Now back in for the year. Four seconds on the shot. Back! Hey, look at the side of the alley. Evangelista got the rebound and he was fouled by Jeffrey Cariaso. At pangalawang personal foul niya ni Jeffrey Cariaso. Ito, makikita mo, ang ganda sana nito. Hindi nga lang pumasok yung tira. And Evangelista had a beat on the rebound. 
Well, medyo minalas lang si Jeffrey Carriazo, but you noticed, late na naman yung defensive rotation ng Pure Foods. As soon as uh, there was a double team in the wing, ito si Jeffrey Carriazo, quickly sped in on the cut. Hindi lang pumasok yung kanyang tira on the layup. Very good again, a triple team. Dilabas kay Dito for the open shot. Medyo malakas. Ray Maglisa trying to keep it alive. It's picked up by Dito Pobaran. Pobaran, sumaksak sa loob. Pinigay kay Evangelista. Evangelista scores! Evangelista, the man of the hour for Pure Foods. He's got eight points so far. On top of that, he's also plucked down five rebounds for the Pure Foods cars. Ruel Goyes, sumaksak! Offensive oh, foul. That's not a Ruel Gomez move. He found himself in unfamiliar territory. Ito, makikita natin, hindi ito ang usual na galaw ni Ruel. Eh. Nailang si Ron eh. Oh, oh. Well, Gomez is a spot-up shooter. Oh. And he likes to take the shot from the outside. As you said, uh, a very unfamiliar situation for Ruel Gomez where he was forced to drive to the hoop. And may pagkakataon kasi. Oh, ay, siyempre, uy, Bobby Santos, maganda rin sana yung ikot kayo. Yes. Pero, yes, ma'am. Lerwin Castello, tatawagan ang kanyang una personal foul sa larong ito. And watch it, with seven and a half minutes remaining, Alaska already has chalked up four team fouls. Nakakaapat na team foul na Alaska, isa pa lang ang pure foods. Maganda ang ginagalaw ng speed unit ni Coach Chot Reyes. And uh, he's got Santos, Gumaren, and Ravenna. And they're giving uh, Pure Foods good mobility in the half court. Bong Ravenna, bounce pass to Gomez inside. Uh, to Chris Bulado, umamin ka agad. Oh, oh, ako may sala, sabi ni Chris Bulado. At uh, medyo nungisa ng paumanhin dito. Ayun, and yun, niyakap na ron si Jerry Gomez. At ayun pa, sinigod na kamba. Okay. Ray Evangelista. That's five team fouls already for Alaska. Oh. That is Rodney Santos. Binigay kay Jerry Cabinera at Locos. Cabinera, pumuhit, pumagsak. Dapo nito, John Reyes, ang loose ball. John Reyes, sumasag it's it. Hinahabol ni Ray Evangelista, nilabas kay Bob Hawkins. Hawkins, Chris Bolado, yes! Yan ang paborito, paborito ang spot ni Chris Bolado. Pag nakuha niya dyan ang bola, he will take it strong to the hoop. At wala makakapigil dyan kay Chris Bolado pagka gumalaw na lang ganyan. Well, nakakita ni Chris Bolado ang opening and Jericho Dinera was not there to bother that shot. Six-point lead by Alaska. Alam mo, magkakaroon ng mga defensive lapses ang pure foods. And here's Chris Bolado bringing down that rebound authoritatively. Six and a half minutes to go in the second period. Six-point lead by Alaska. Rodney Santos with a steal. Yes, and good anticipation on the slasher's part. Uh -huh. Pinag-uusapan natin ngayon na si Chris Balado. Napakod naman ang hirdo ni Chris Balado. Oo, gusto ko kaya rin. Ah, oo. Kung meron akong katawang pagayon niya. Bagay kasi. Kala ko kung meron ka buhok na katulad. Rodney Santos is at the line. Kagaya na tapang kung kung ito. Nasa penalty na. Itong Alaska Milk with 6 minutes and 28 seconds remaining in the second period. Rodney Santos at the line. Lumalaban itong speed unit ni uh, Coach Chod Reyes. Uh, we mentioned earlier that uh, Pure Foods is having a difficult time penetrating the half-court defense of Alaska. But the uh, counter naman ni Coach Chod Reyes no, is to use mobility to keep uh, the defense moving, to keep it guessing. And uh, of course, one factor is uh, Patrimonio is not on the court. And uh, so the defense he, he is kept guessing because nagiging unpredictable na ang offense na naman ng Pure Foods. Chris Bulano runs it to Ray Evangelista and referee by Ledesma will call the foul on Evangelista. Uh, Ray Evangelista. Uh, Evangelista. Uh, Evangelista. Uh, Evangelista. Evangelista and only the second team foul for Pure Foods whereas Alaska already has six. Six minutes and 14 seconds remaining, second quarter. Plus Timosa. The double team sa kanya. Dalabas ko Marvin Castello. Binigay kay Hawkins. Three-point shot. Wala. Pinapik ko yung Agnista ang bola kay Rodney Santos. Santos, binigay kay Dindo Pumaren. Pero niya ito pumito ron. Nagkailangan yung mga player. Rodney Santos. Nice move. Nice move, Rodney Santos. He made Merwin Castello as a leverage para makatalo ng maganda 
Just a jump shot now. Dalawa na lang ang lamang ng Alaska. 29-27. 5 minutes and 34 seconds remaining in the second quarter. Roger Lastimosa. Nabakibong Ravenna. There's a switch. Castello is open. Wala. Santos for the rebound. 5 minutes and 19 to go. Second quarter. Two point lead by Alaska. Rodney Santos. Double team. Billy Wiggins. Billy Wiggins. Billy Wiggins. Billy Wiggins. Billy Wiggins. And ties the ball game. Santos drawing the top of the triple team. And good recognition on his part. Nakita niya si Abangalis. Tak kalim on the short side. Pero mahirap na tira yun. Yung kay Abangalis. Mahirap. Continuation of the second quarter of this ball game. Agati pong uh, score 32 to 29. Parang uh, paumanhin po ninyo mga kaibigan. Medyo nawala lang kami sandali. Para naman mas exciting para sa inyo. Uh, pero kayo po eh... Mabagata paliwanan kita. Okay. Hey, Jolas with one second on the shot clock. Kaya hindi po tumama sa board. Kanya to sa ring. Kanya tatawagan po sila ng 24 second shot clock. Lumang na ngayon ang tatlo. And Purefuls with 4 minutes and 14 seconds remaining in the second period. And kanina naka 3 point shot si Bong Ravena. And ito si Ray Bangalista has been really doing a no man's job, oh, particularly yes. in defense. Oh. Uh, he has been anchoring the defense and he has been forcing um, Alaska to take some poor shots. What a bad pass there by Rodney Santos picked off by Jeffrey Carriazzo. At ang Alaska na naman ang nasa atake ngayon. Jun Reyes, Labake Pumarez. This Bulado, Labake Ray Bangalista. Pumuhit, Palpal, the Ray Bangalista. Palpal, the Ray Bangalista, si Chris Bulado. Right to go to Sidinto Pumarin. Pumarin against Jun Reyes. Dilabas kay Jericho Dinera. Illegal D. At tatawagan po ng technical foul. Ang Alaska may pangalawang beses na yan. Kung tinawagan sila ng illegal defense. Ed, malaking bagay kung wala si Johnny Abariento sa loob ng court. Medyo nagkakalat ang opensa ng Alaska. And you take a look at this excellent defense of Ray Evangelista on Chris Man Mountain Bolado. Well, alam na alam na aral, pinag-aralan ni Ray Evangelista yung galaw na yan ni Chris Bulado. Sinabi nga natin kanina, when he gets it on a spot na kaya niya bubuelo, ay eh, unstoppable yun si Chris Bulado. Pero doon sa klase ng uh, uh, ikot na yun, ay uh, basang-basa. Nabasa ni uh, Ray Evangelista ang gagawin niya. Johnny Abariato is on the bench. He's got three personal fouls. Medyo hindi mo na isusugal yan ni Coach Tim Tong. Ang ating pong oras na nalalamay dito sa second quarter, 3 minutes and 40 seconds. At nakita ko rin ang inside game ng Pure Foods. Yan po ang kumakan na para sa kanila ngayon. Nilabas ni Rodney Santos ni Bong Ravena. Dito po maran is momentarily open. Now he's not. Ray Evangelista saves it. Not quite. And there will be a turnover. Well, malaking bagay yun, no? That uh, Pure Foods is now going for the high percentage shots. Which is the reason why they have been able to... Uh, Grab the lead from Alaska, 12 points inside the paint. And this quarter so far for Purefoods and only two for Alaska. And it's a four-point lead for the Purefoods TJ Hot Dogs at 33 to 29. Three minutes and 15 seconds to go in the second quarter. Out of bounds play in favor of Alaska Bell. Ngayon bang narami, amin mga apo, ken mga lakay, dita La Union, Abra, Ilocos Norte, ken Ilocos Sur. Kumusta kayo lahat ng mga kaibigan natin sa Norte? Jojo Lastimosa, turn around jumper. Wala. Evangelista. Tumarad. Tumarad ko si Bong Ravena ngayon laban kay Lastimosa. Pumukul bigla. Pumukul bigla. Wait it down. Tumumasok. Loose ball foul. Ano kanina yung tira ni Jojo Lastimosa? Wala pasahan yun. Oo. So yung vaunted teamwork ng Alaska sa Opensa, hindi na natin nakikita. Ito yung tira ni Bong Ravena na hindi pumasok at ang loose ball foul na tatawagin kay Ray Evangelista. And we have a turn-off. Green Cross Rubbing Alcohol, the official alcohol of the PBA. Partner natin sa kalusugan. Ang ating score mga kaibigan, 33 to 29 in favor of the Pure Foods TJ Hot Dogs. We have two and a half minutes remaining in the second period. A couple of turnovers on both ends of the court. At ngayon, si Johnny Abarientos mo. Nasa loob na para sa Alaska Bell. Jeffrey Carriazzo, si Kevin Ramos din nga pala, ay pumasok na rin para sa Alaska. Abarientos, sumaksak sa loob. Sinalubog ka agad ang depensa ng Pure Foods. At meron na tawa ka ng foul. Yan po ay si Tito Pumarin. Ang kanyang first personal foul in this game. Well, Coach Tipcoe doesn't want this uh, situation to get worse. 
kanya binalik niya kaagad ito si Johnny Abarientos. Oh. Napuno niya na with uh, Abarientos sitting on the bench, eh, lumamang na itong uh, pure foods. Tanda po rin ko, meron na tatlong personal foul itong si uh, Johnny Abarientos. Give and go play, Jeffrey Carriazo has fouled inside. You notice that Abarientos was not involved in the play, but the fact that he is on the court gives uh, an impetus to the movement and uh, the rotation of the players uh, in offense. Kanya nakita natin, ito si Jeffrey Garriazo getting uh, the pass from Kevin Ramas. And uh, previous two or three plays of Alaska, ito si Giorgio Lastimosa forcing his shots, not making the pass, and trying to make one-on-one -on -one moves. Kanya hindi maganda ang flow ng opensa ng uh, Alaska, which is the reason kung bakit ito si Coach Tikun. Pitalik na muli ang flying A. 2 minutes and 10 seconds remaining dito po sa ating uh, second quarter. Teka muna, bakit mo po kaagad si Tito Pumarin? Sabi ng mga officials, eh, hindi pa nakapapasok. Hindi ko pinapayagin pumasok si Olsen Bracera. Na dapat pumalit sa kanya. So, mamaya na raw. Mamaya na raw yung palita niya. Pariyas, eh. Yung two free throws. Uh, uh, Alaska. Uh -huh. Incidentally, Ed, then let's give an update on the field goal performance of two key players of Alaska. Lastimosa, two out of nine. Bacariaso, one out of five. And, uh, first court concern. Cadinera at Lopez against Kevin Ramas. There's a double team by Cariaso. Cadinera, the guard of Kumapusan. Three seconds on the shot clock. Good take. And the basket by Edmund Rea. Partner, yun ang sinasabi ko eh. Kanina in the pregame, no? Jericho Dinieram need not be double-teamed. And when he's double-teamed, Alaska's uh, defense is not uh, quick enough to stop the open man. Hindi sila nag-rotate. Kanya nakaka nakakahanap ng opening yung pure foods. Well, that's a good decoy play there by Jeffrey Cariaso getting Kevin Ramos in scoring position. Uh, ang lamang po ng pure foods na dalawa, 35-33. We have 1 minute and 15 seconds remaining in the first half. Rodney Santos ngayon, isolated against Jeffrey Carriazzo. Santos pa rin. Ito na si Lastimosa, dumadoble. Jericho Dinera, di makatira. Binigay kay Dindo Pumarin. 7 seconds on the shot clock. Naghahanap ng wapasahan si Dindo. There's a switch. There's a tap. There's a steal by Alaska. Lastimosa up ahead. Mahabos si Rodney Santos. Lastimosa plays on the steal. At tabla ang ating labanan at 35 all. We are tied at 35. Bong Ravenna. Umarin underneath against the Barrientos. They're challenging Johnny Abarrientos' defense. Yes, and, and that's the right idea. Oh. On, uh, Pumarin sparked. Three fouls into si Johnny Abarrientos. He wants to cripple the flying A. Oi, 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 oi. Kinabig ni Kevin Ramas yung kamay ni uh, Jericho Dinera. And he's going to be called for the offensive foul. Nafuho straight to si Kevin Ramas. He oh. really has not been able to show anything at all in this game so far. And remember, Kevin Tuma. Ramas Ayun. had 13 points in uh, game number four. At uh, kinausap to coach Tim Cohn si Kevin Ramas. Sabi niya, what did you achieve? What did you achieve? Doon sa ginawa mo ngayon. 20 seconds to go here in the second quarter. Pure Foods is on top by two. Edmund Reyes, binigay kay Codinera. Narito kayo si Bong Ravena. Low post play. Codinera! At magahabol ng, ng buzzer si Cariaso. Hindi babot. Kodinyara looks at the clock. And two foods. TJ Hot Dogs. Scrambling to stay alive in this series. They have a four-point lead at the end of 24 minutes of play. And stay tuned, folks, because we still have more surprises on halftime. Coming up, Alaska celebrates 25 years of corporate success. And of course, we're going to have our locker room reports and halftime analysis. All these after a few reminders. Alaska, dahil sa loob ng panahong yun, ay naging matagumpay sila. Hindi lang sa negosyo, kundi na rin sa loob ng basketball court. Coach Alaska Stagline says, uh, wala pa rin tatalo sa Alaska. And uh, for the past six, co six conferences, you've been close to really being invincible. What is the key? Uh, I know a lot of people have asked you this question before, but six straight finals appearance. There should be something that you are doing right. Well, I, I'm, I'm smiling at this point. I'm kind of laughing about it because, you know, everybody used to sing that song to me as a joke back three, four years. Every time we lose a game, someone would walk by the street. Wala pa rin tatalo sa Alaska. You know, I, uh, you know, and, and uh, but uh, there really hasn't been any real secret. I think the secret we've had in our success is just that it's really come from the players and uh, uh, the bonds that they have. 
they have uh, created within themselves, uh, amongst themselves, and uh, uh, it's really special. And uh, I've never been seen it. I've never seen it on another team before, and and uh, I don't know really how we created it. I think we just got real lucky, and uh, um, it really comes from our leadership, from JoJo, on down to Bong and Johnny, and on down to the two, you know. Uh, um, you know, the guys that come off the bench, Dickie Bachman, Joey Panetta, those guys are all real key to our chemistry and they all work together. And, and again, I, I don't know how, that's the, yeah, that's the key, but I don't know how we, uh, we, we created it. It just kind of came that way and all of a sudden we started doing well. Sabi nga ni Coach, nasa players ang sekreto ng kupunan, ang sabi ng kapitan. The guys really are very dedicated and, and um, I think that's, that's really very important to the team. Um, not only during the games, but also showing up in practice every day. That's where you see na, na yung mga players are very dedicated. Malayo na ang naabot ng Alaska. Maging sa PBA ay humakot na sila ng mga karangalan na pinagpawisan din naman nilang talaga. Saan pa nga ba papunta ang Alaska? We've had six straight finals appearances. We won two. We're looking at our third. And most importantly, the All-Filipino, which is, uh, I think, very special to the players. And it would be a back-to-back -back for us. So... Uh, we're very hopeful and we're very excited. Good evening, Philippines. From the Big Dome in Cabal's Quezon City, we bring you another classic championship game here in the Philippine Basketball Association between Alaska Milk and the Pure Foods TJ Hot Dogs. Upis po ito ng third quarter. Lamang pa rin ang apat ang Pure Foods, 39-35. There was a near steal by Jeffrey Cariaso, ngunit lumabas po ang bola sa sideline. Ayun po mga kaibigan, dito po sa Vintage Sports Panel, ako po si Ed Pixon, kasama po ang walang kakupas-kupas na si... Ano pa naman mo? Kinito Henson po. Sige, dito Henson po. Kasama. Ayun po, kaibigan ko yan. Ed, that will start the second half. Nakita natin. Exchange of turnovers. And that has been the way this game has uh, been played. We have seen one turnover after another. Nakita natin in our uh, halftime analysis, both teams already with 10 turnovers apiece. That also shows you the kind of defense both these teams are playing. Okay, nakikita po natin uh, ang ating score. Napakababa, 39-35. Three seconds on the shot of Jeffrey Cariasso. Yes! Dalawa na lang ang lamang na pure foods at 39-37. That time, very precise execution. Nakawala si Jeffrey Cariasso. Only his second field goal in six attempts. Not a good shooting clip for Jeffrey Cariasso so far. Jerry Cotillera attacking with the defense of Franz Rino. Wala. Bong Hawkins with a power rebound. Pinigay ko Johnny Abarientos. Abarientos on the run. Nagita sa Jose Rosela. Abarientos! Wala! Edmund Reyes. Para sa rebound. Para sa pure foods. Abarientos had to change his shot in oh. mid-air because of that good defense of Olsen Rasela. Kanya, that ball uh, going outside of the hoop. Hey, Evangelista. Again, challenging the defense of Jojo Lastimosa. He fumbles. Six seconds on the shot clock. Evangelista, nagahanap ng mapasahan. Down to two seconds. Glenn Capasso, di makatira! Ayun. Inabot, inabot. 24-second buzzer going off against Pure Foods. Moment of hesitation there. Several moments, as a matter of fact, of hesitation. Magandang matchup yun, ah. Evangelista. Taking on Jojo Lastimosa and Jericho Dinera, alternatively. Yes. Alternatively. Johnny Abarientos ngayon. Laban po rin si Olsen Rosella. Ito na. Abarientos pumihit. Off the glass. Wala pa rin. Edmund Reyes with a big rebound. Binigay kay Olsen. Abarientos only with two points in this game. Yes. He certainly needs to step up his offense. Olsen Rosella. Binabas kay Edmund Reyes. Yes. Tagalay. Good call. Pero buo mga po yung kaliwa pa ni Edmund Reyes bago sa mong table. I'm not sure if Edmund Reyes expected to get that pass. Ang um, buong akala niya siguro ito si Rosello would attack the defense uh, of Abarientos realizing that uh, may instructions si Coach Chot Reyes to attack Johnny Abarientos who has three personal fouls. Two point lead by Pio Pucho 39-37. Jojo Lastimosa di ba pa sa watch video. Bong Hawkins runs into Glenn Capasso. Carriasso top of the key jumper. Yes! That's two in a row for Jeffrey Carriasso oh. from the outside here in the second half. 
Barriasso scoring all four points for Alaska in this third quarter so far. Hindi pa nakaka-score up two points dito sa third quarter. Rey Evangelista, pinabas kay Jerry Contigera. Parayang uh, cheer ngayon ng mga taga Alaska. Alaska fans, defense now, defense. Anong defense, sabi ni Rey Evangelista. Sige, dumipens kayo. Lamang na naman ang dalawa. Two points, 41-39. Johnny Abarrientos. His pass. Nabitawan ni Bauka Pes, pero nakuha na naman ni Johnny! Try and try again until you succeed. And Johnny Abarrientos finally with a field goal left. That's on his third attempt. Dito sa uh, third quarter. Tabla po tayo sa 41. 41 all is the count. 8 minutes and 15 seconds remaining in the third period. Olsen Trasela, right part of it against Johnny Abarrientos. No post play. Rey Evangelista! He has been attacking it. The defense of Jojo Lastimosa at low post, Evangelista, now with 14 points in the ball game. Malaking mismatch yun eh. Evangelista, uh, of course, with a high advantage. He's shooting over Jojo Lastimosa. Yup. And he will play ball Hawkins, despite the fact na medyo binulabog sa ni Evangelista sa aire. Ito na naman sa Evangelista. This time, Bob Hawkins will be called for the foul. Baga muna, ano na nilikam? Record si Otreas. May technical na tatawagin? May bumatechnical ito si Chotreas. He's out of the ball game because uh, okay, okay. earlier he was already tagged with a technical foul. Uh, may technical foul na tatawagan. Tatawagin, yes. May second motion kasi si Bong Hawkins uh, after the lista drove the baseline. At yun yata ang uh, kinomplay ni Coach Chotreas. Na hindi tinawagan, pero tinawagan din. Yeah. Also, also, the son of the Akadu, the other the technical free throw. Whoop, offline. Major Kumilia. So, Bentara, si Bong Ravena, papasit muli para kay Glenn Capasso. Sa panig ng Pure Foods, TJ Hotdog. Tabla tayo, mga kaibigan, ha? Tabla, 43, uh, todos. At pero mo tayo, 7 minutes and 41 seconds to go. Third quarter. Pagka si Glenn Capasso, medyo off. Oh, oh. Not only medyo, pero talagang off. They are scoreless so far. And uh, Cardinero attempting from the outside. At si Bong Hawkins. Pang-apat na yan. Pang-apat na ni Bong Hawkins. Fourth personal foul for Bong Hawkins. And you see the expression on his face. Medyo inabot niya sa kamay si Jerry Cardinero doon sa jump shot na yun. And that will tell on the aggressiveness of the interior defense of Alaska. Which is not a good sign for Alaska. Yes, with, Apat, with four personal fouls. Johnny Abarretos, meron tatlo. Yes. At alam naman natin, ito si Bong Hawkins is one of the anchors of the top interior defense of Alaska. Oh, definitely. Nakita din natin in the second period, Purefoot started to attack the inside and getting a lot of points inside the paint. And I suppose you can expect more of the same here in the third period. Labang ng dalawa, Purefoot, 45-43. Meron tayo 7 minutes and 23 seconds to go for the quarter. Bong Hawkins, Jay Sabarieto! Yes! Up na na pa sa ni Bong Hawkins. And the delivery by Johnny. Yan ang tinatawag natin ang mobility ni Johnny Abarientos. Uh, and also you can credit that to fine execution of the part of the team as a team. Johnny Cotinera, hindi makasaksak against Coach Wynn. Yun nakita niya si Rivera sa loob. Pinapik palabas ang bola with 6 seconds on the shot clock. Lucas P.J. Hotdogs will inbound from the baseline. Whoops! Ravenna! Ay, nagalangan. There's a case of move by Bong Ravenna. He was up in the air and he oh. thought about that shot. Nag-iba ang isip niya. Oh, oh. So, opportunity here for Alaska to get back into the driver's seat. Tabla po tayo sa 45. 6 minutes and 42 seconds remaining in the third period. Coach Wido, off to Jojo Lastimosa. Being watched by Ray Evangelista. And as Alaska went on uh, those in offense, si Bong Ravena po ay tatawagan ang kanyang pangalawa personal foul. At ang pure foods po, unang team foul pa lang yan dito sa third quarter. Napakagandang panuuri ng movement ng Alaska in the half court. Uh, nakikita uh, natin uh, there's perpetual motion. Sariaso, Abarientos, always moving to get free of their man. At alam na alam nila kung ano dapat nilang gawin. Yes. Ayun na yes. naman siya hey. natin. Although, Dabang foul. Yes. May foul ang pure foods. And we were just talking about the movement of the Alaska players in the half court. 
got si Jeffrey Cariaso. And there you have the foul. At yan, mga kinito, walang mga incidental dyan na nangyayari. Aral lahat, lahat dyan. Aral yes. lahat yung mga galaw nila. In other words, may sistema. Ito nga si Coach Tinto, nagtawag ko sa kanya, eh, master of the game. Yeah. At uh, sa tingin ko, ito si Coach Tinto, wala na siguro tatalo in terms of game planning. Uh, he, is a very, he has a very scholarly approach to the game. Perhaps the only weakness that he has that he can yield, which is the strength of Coach Chavez, is the ability to adjust during a game, depending on the game situations. Adun magalik si Chavez. 47-45, two-point lead now by Alaska Book. Dito po sa ating third quarter. May pressure in the backcourt. Above Ravenna comes out to help. Ravenna, Reyes, and Tim Reyes. Less than 10 seconds in the shot clock. Very good to get a double to the first baseline. And the fishing expedition by Jerry Cordillera lands Jesse Corrier Cariaso's third personal foul. At alam mo, kanina nabanggit ko kinito. Nagkita kami ni Coach Chotreyes dun sa golf course. He looked very relaxed at yung sabi niya sa akin. Alam mo, this course ay na 82. Napakaganda yung score niya para sa golf. Sabi niya sa akin. Alam mo, kung umiscore lang kami ng ganito, mamaya, sabi niya, palagay ko, amin na, itong game number five. So far, ah, Medyo... On track, ano? On track. Oh, on track pa yan. Well, of course, uh, Burefoot scored only 62 points in game number four, which it lost. Kanya, sabi niya siguro, at 20 more points to 62, eh, baka manalo na sila. Oo. Oh. Eh, ito naman, maganda naman na pinakikita ng mga bata niya. At tabla na naman tayo, mga kaibigan. 47 all. This is our sixth deadlock of the game. At uh, out of bounds, play para sa Burefoot TJ Hotdog. Another turnover here. Samantala. Better put on your time out. Gordon's. Just by the scent of it, you know. It's the true spirit. Sulit na sulit naman ang pinunta rito ng ating mga kaibigan na nanonood ng live dito po sa Big Dome sapagkat napakaganda po na laban ng ito. Game number five. Best of seven championship series between Alaska Bill and the Pureports TJ Hotbox. Going into this ball game, Alaska with a three games to one advantage. Isa na lang ang kailangan ng Alaska ang panalunin para makuha nila ang kampionato. Pero ayaw pumayag na Pureports TJ Hotbox. Ray Evangelista now with 16 points in the game. Part 10, nakita ko kanina ito si Ray Evangelista realizing that it was Bong Hawkins who was taking him yes. on the outside. Kanya ang drive. Uh, Hawkins, who, as we know, already with four personal fouls. Sabili, kaninong bola to? Alaska protesting. And the ball will go to... Pag-uusapan ni referee Bailey Desma. Yes, it will go to Alaska. It will go to Alaska. Yan po ang hatol. Nagunan pa lang. Five and a half. Five and a half minutes remaining in the third quarter. Two-point lead by Purefoods. 49-47. Action has certainly been heated. Ray Evangelista. Aparientos drove in. Palagay ko may contact doon. Pero walang tawag yung referee. Samantala, at the Purefoods ang umaatake ngayon, Ray Evangelista, picked up by Bong Hawkins, nilabas kay Jerry Cotillera! Suspense pa, suspense! A nice kick-out play, but again, Evangelista creating the situation for Jerry Cotillera to take the shot from the outside when he drove in. Ay, lucky yun ang urubukan nun na. Johnny Amarietos from the outside! Let's well, see Coach Tim Cohn is really taking a big gamble, keeping Bong Hawkins inside the game with uh, four personal fouls. And you notice now Pure Foods is taking its offense against uh, Bong Hawkins. Ito naman sila. Sumosan na naman ang pabig up kay Ray Evangelista. Evangelista, nilabas kay Jerry Cotillera. Cotillera, nagkahanap na ba po saan nilabas kay Dito Tomarin. Tomarin against Abarientos. Out to Jerry again from top of the key. Masyado malakas. Evangelista, hindi nakuha rebound. Pumarin, just to both. And then Hawkins. Yep, Ravenna inside! And Ravenna will go to the stripe. Purefoods hustling more than Alaska here in this quarter. And I think the reason why walang masyadong hustle itong Alaska is because they are afraid to commit fouls. Hawkins foul plagued as well as Johnny Abarientos. Ngayon naman ang tinawagan ng foul ay si Jojo Lastimosa. Pangalawang personal foul niya. Bong Ravenna at the line. Misses. At ang Alaska, meron pong apat na team foul. Pure Foods with two. 
Ang ating pong oras na natitira dito sa third quarter, 4 minutes, 16.7 seconds. Lamang ang Bill Foods ngayon ng tatlo at 52-49 after that split by Bong Ravenna. Darito si Johnny Abarientos. Jeffrey Cariaso versus Wadi Santos. Binibigyan ng pick to punch. Radio open shot for Cariaso. Jeffrey Cariaso now with 13 yes, in the ball game. He has found his touch here in the third period. He's going three out of three. He's got eight points in this quarter. Ito si Slasher. Wadi Santos doing what he does best. Wadi Santos scoring his eighth point in the ball game. Now they're attacking the inside. At uh, mukha yatang uh, narealize ng uh, Pure Foods that medyo humihina na ang intensity ng inside defense ng Alaska. At si Jeffrey Carriasa naman, si Sports Radio. Yun ang uh, play ng uh, Alaska. Kahit ka nga eh, nakaka, nakakarindi sa kalaban. Yung pasahan na yan sa loob. Dog Hawkins on the scoring end. And it's just a one-point lead by Pure Foods, 54-53. Randy Santos versus Jeffrey Carriasa. Santos pa rin na nabas kay Jerry Codinera. Codinera. Spread offense, ah, ng Pure Foods. Oo. Oh. Ito si Codinera, binigay kay Ravenna. Ravenna, hinarangan ni Bong Hawkins. Inside pass, that was a dangerous pass. Two seconds on the shot clock! Two seconds! There's the buzzer. Buzzer setting off on the Pure Foods TJ Hot Dogs. But good intention on the part of Pure Foods. They played the, they played the spread offense to allow a cut from Dindo Pumaren. They wanted Pumaren to take the shot so he can't attack the defense of Johnny Abarientos. Of course, that play did not materialize. Oh. But Wait. good intention, just the same. Remember, folks, if Alaska wins it tonight, then the All-Filipino Conference is over. Uh, Isa na lang ang kailangan ng Alaska, pero ang Pure Foods gusto pong ikangay magkaroon pa ng pagkakataon dito sa kampinato. We have a timeout. Don't just paint it. Sinclair it. Magandang gabi po muli, Pilipinas. Ito po si Ed Pixon. Kasama sa Kinito Hanson para sa po sa ating uh, paglaro ng Game 5 sa Championship Series between Alaska America and the Pure Foods, TJ Hotdogs. Johnny Abarietos! Bintis! Pumaren para sa rebound. Labang ang Pure Foods ng isa. 54-53. Dito po sa third quarter. Ravenna is open at the corner. And Triple B by Bong Ravenna! A pure boots, 57-53. What a timely explosion on the part of uh, Bong Ravenna from the outside. Pariaso sa baksak sa loob. Blocking foul is going to be called. Pariyad Rey Evangelista. Kanina, yung si Johnny Barriento has used a high pick set by Bong Hawkins. Yun ang pinag-uusapan natin kanina sa pre-game, but on the pure foot side, we expected Jerry Codinero to use himself as a decoy to bring out the big men of Alaska. But apparently, there is no need to do that because the big men of Alaska have really not delivered in this game so far. Colado, we have hardly seen him uh, play. Winyo has hardly been effective. In fact, Winyo only has two points in this game. Yes, and the, uh, Kevin Rabas, that's a bench again as you look at Congressman John Osmeña Jr. of Cebu. Mayong gabi, kanito tanang duha sa kabisayan ng Bindanao. Daghang ko na na ay mga taga-buhol. Adyaw mo, mahay, torpido sa Bindu. Ay, wabi kalimot ninyo diha sa Bohol. Kumusta ka mo diha? Diha sa Bohol, sa Dumaguete, sa Negros, sa Panay, sa Leyte, sa Samar, sa Bindanao. Kumusta ko sa buong Pilipinas, Daria Marietos. Magic, 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 magic na pitawan. Pero merong foul na nakita sa referee Eddie De Leon. At sabi ni Tito Kumarin, Kumi? Boy, that's a lucky break for Alaska because Abarientos had lost the handle. Oo, ito, ito, ito. Anong ripo natin muli? Behind the back, wrap around, trying to keep control of the ball. Ayan, you know. Tapos, nawala sa kanya yung handle. Nawala sa kanya yung handle. Oo, nadulas, eh, nadulas. Ayun, yun ang foul. Inipit ni, ano, ni Dindo Pumarin, si Johnny Abarientos. He impeded the progress of his, of his movement. Kanya siya natawagan. Okay, Abarientos now. He would have picked by Bong Hawkins. Double teamed. Hawkins. Tariaso is open! Yes. Tariaso with a hot hand here for Alaska. He has not missed from the field. Dito sa third period. Going for 4-4. Four, four, four. This is na po ang uh, puntos ni Jeffrey Tariaso. And 12 of those here in the third. Well, kick out by Pumarin to Cotinera. A wise decision on the part of Pumarin. He probably would have been blocked if he attempted that layup. 
59-57, two-point lead by Pierpuls, a minute and 17 to go in the third period. Balito ngayon si Jojo Lascumosa. Lascumosa, labaki mo Rivera, nice pirouette. Kunit meron po foul na tatawagin labang kay Bob Ravena pangatlo niyan. Alam mo to si Jojo Lascumosa, hindi pa nakaka-score dito sa second half. He had nine points at the end of the first half, seven in the first quarter, only two in the second period. That's right, a, uh, a very low beat performance here by Jolas. Incidentally, Alvin Patrimonio has not played a single second because the second half he has been riding the bench and he did suspect that uh, uh, Patrimonio is still hurting. Glenn Tapasho, also not a factor for Pure Foods. Both Tapasho and Patrimonio have not scored in this game so far. Despite that, they're in the lead by one. Edson it... Patrimonio, incidentally, if I may interrupt, yes. still holds uh, the record for active players in terms of consecutive games played with 231. The record is held by Dante Gonzalo with 280. And that oh. uh, statistic, courtesy of uh, Fidel Mamon and Billy Marshall of our statistical panel. Okay, at ang kadaraman nung pihit na yun, ni Tindo Pumarin on Johnny Abarientos at low post to give Pure Foods another 2.8 at 61.59. Boy, may nahulog ng lobo. May lobo nahulog. Ano kaya yan? Premonition ba yan? Jojo Lastimosa, left-hand and layup. Alam po ninyo, pagka merong championship, eh, oy, ano nangyari dito? Si Rodney Santos. Uh, uh, he's wrist. Good. Yes, he is wincing in pain. <laughs> Nabanggit po natin kanina, bago do, matapos yung play na yun, eh, merong bubaksak na lobo. Alam niyo naman pagka-championship, eh, may naghahanda po ng lobo yung uh, maaring uh, magkampiyon. Pero eto, si Rodney Santos, mga kaibigan, namibilipit po sa sakit. Ano kaya nangyari dito? Well, it happened on the side when Jorge Lastimosa took off for that left-handed play-up. Tignan po natin kung ano nangyari. Ito. Si Rodney, humahabol po kay Jojo Lastimosa. Ayun. Palagay ko yun eh. Ayun, ayun, ayun. Oo. Oh, Kitang-kita yun. Okay, mga kaibigan. 40 seconds remaining in the third quarter. At yun, yung balikat ni Rodney Santos. Medyo bumukul pala yan. Kung ano, uh, nakita nitong uh, kasama natin si Ariel eh. Pa, tapos, uh, tsaka lang daw hinila ni uh, Bong Ravena yun. Okay. Alvin Patrimonio is in the ball game. Wala. Edwin Reyes keeps it alive for Pure Foods. Agawan. Oh, nabitawan ni Edwin. A patrimonial checking in for Rodney Santos with just 40 seconds left here in the quarter. Made an attempt, hindi pumasok. 61 all. Yan po ang ating score, mga kaibigan. Nakikita po ninyo sa inyong screens. At ang Alaska, umatake ngayon. They want to get the lead going into the fourth period. Johnny Abarrientos, may dala ng bola. Binigay kay Jojo Lastimosa. Binabot ngayon ng Bong Ravena. Lastimosa sa baksak sa loob. Merong foul na tatawagin at nasa penalty na po ang Pure Foods. Alaska, incidentally, is still not yet in the penalty, so they can afford to give up the foul on the last offensive of Pure Foods. Pure Foods, incidentally, scored only 62 points in game number four, which it lost. But here in this game, ba naka-61 na sila? And still, a quarter to go. Meron po tayo isang buong quarter. Samantala, si Kevin Ramos po at si Ruel Gomez ay pinasok ni Coach Tim Cohn. Binabas muna si Bong Hawkins at gayon din si Jeffrey Cariaso. Lastimosa makes both. At labang ang Alaska ng dalawa, 63-61. 15 segundos po ang nalalabi dito sa third quarter. Darito si Dindo Pumarin, labang kay Jerry Abarientos. Pumarin pa rin, dinabas kay Jerry Cabinera. Lumalapit si Jerry. Jerry, put it up, wala. Nakuha ni Alvin Patrimonio, binigay kay Tito Pumari, Pumari, Alvin Reyes, wala rin, Edmund Reyes, try to kill. Oop, sandali lang, sabi ng referee, may pito pa referee with two tenths of a second. Remaining, Kevin Ramos gives up the foul. Well, sabi nga natin, wala pa sa penalty yan, pero ano ba yun? It was a shooting foul. Oh, shooting foul, act of shooting. And that has greatly disappointed Coach Tim Cohn. At kanina nakita natin, he was saying, Naku! But kayo nag-foul act of shooting, we had one foul to give. Edmund Reyes makes the first. Ray Van Rista comes back. At si Bong Rabena ang kanyang papalitan. Situation on substitution here for Coach Chot Reyes with two seconds to go. He wants his number one defensive player in the game and that's Ray Evangelista. Also for the possible rebound. Yeah. 
Two tenths of a second. Got enough time for Alaska. At tabla tayo. Pagpasok po ng uh, pag-apat na quarter. Umpisa na naman tayo sa umpisa. 63 all. This is a championship game. Moment of truth is at hand. Mga kaibigan, fourth quarter na po ito. Last 12 minutes of regulation play. At ito po ang ginawa nila ng unang tatlong quarters. Nakikita po ninyo sa inyong screen. Samantala, sa pag-uumpisa po ng fourth quarter, tabla tayo. Tabla. 63 all. Jania Barrientos to Bong Hawkins against Edmund Reyes. Hawkins, gumagalaw ngayon. Oops, pumito sa referee Edmund De Leon. At tawagan po ng foul. Si Edmund Reyes. Coach Juan Reyes is starting the fourth period with two players who have yet to score in this game but his two trusted veterans, Glenn Capacho at si Alvin Patrimonio. So, Batana, ito si Edmund Reyes nga pala. Kinito, apat ng personal fouls. Cat and mouse play, Bong Hawkins. Ito talaga namang tenacious play on the part of Bong Hawkins. Nakawakan pa ni Evangelista yung bola pero Binaliwala yun ni Bong Hawkins. Ayan ang pinatawag natin na power play ni Bong Hawkins. Once he's inside the paint in scoring position, very difficult to stop. Also because he's got a lot of fake moves. 65-63, pure food. Well, Alaska is now on top by two. Dito po sa fourth quarter, Glenn Capasso. Dinabas kay Alvin Patrimonio, the jumper by Alvin! That's a three-point shot! And that was a major basket by Alvin Patrimonio. His first field goal of the game, and that should be a big morale boost oh, yes. for the tender juicy hot dogs. But in the end, but in the end, field goal there, the Alvin Patrimonio, that also puts them on top by one, 66-65. Ruel Gomez, laban kay Glenn Capasso, narito na naman si Bong Hawkins, sinusun na ni Angel Reyes. Yung lose the shot, Bong Hawkins tries to get it back. At merong foul na tatawagin, tinan natin, mukhang si Edmund Reyes na naman ito. Yes, at alam mo, nandun na si Jerry Codigera, papalitan na sana si Edmund Reyes, pero as these things go, naunahan na naman yung foul na yan, ito, ni Edmund. Alam mo, very determined ito si Bong Hawkins. When he missed that shot from up close, siya pa nila nakakuha ng offensive rebound. One point three, five pure foods here in the fourth quarter. Johnny Abarito sa kawala. Binigay kay Hawkins. Gomez! Yes! Again, that's what you call execution. Hinahanap nila si Roel Gomez. Hawkins had the shot, but he elected to dish it off to Roel Gomez, who was spotted up for the three-pointer. Two-point lead by Alaska at 68-66. Ten minutes and seven seconds to go in the ball game. Very good to get a lot of ball, Hawkins. Alvin Patrimonio, a double team by Ramos and Hawkins. Good to get a lot of ball. Three-point shot to Glenn. Wala. Loose ball. Picked up by Evangelista. Evangelista, nagahanap ng mapasahan. Dito po maran. Oops. Every Edmund de Leon spotted the ball inside. Tunggu-tunggu ada si Jeffrey Cariasso, pak. Apa tu sih ni Jeffrey Cariasso? Ya kan ini tu si Glenn Capasso took that three-point attempt. Kumpul masuk tuan. That would have been a major boost as well for Bruce's after the three-point shot of Alvin. Kalau lose ball, pak. Ada tu wagon. Si Jeffrey Cariasso apa itu? Yes. Panglima na ni Jeffrey Cariasso who is top scoring together with Bong Hawkins for Alaska. Pareho silang may 17 puntos. Ito sa rebound play na yan, Ray Evangelista. Meron na sanang magandang puesto para sa rebound pero natabil siya ni Jeffrey Cariasso. Pantos, kaya tapusan ito sa fouls ha? Oo. The way things are going. Alvin Patrimonio. Titira ulit. Wala. Cariaso. Ayos, sabi ni Cariaso. Akin na talaga ito. And as we observe, Alvin Patrimonio very gingerly fighting to uh, the defensive end of the floor. Two-point lead by Alaska. Evangelista. Binigay kay Pumaran. Pumaran forward na to Glenn Capasso. Capasso to Pumaran. Bakit mo na kasi pasa. Hey, nakuha ni Cariaso. Cariaso, two steps, three steps ahead. Yes. Yes. Lost the error there. Yes, another hustle play here by Alaska. They're applying pressure now in the backcourt. It's a four-point lead by Alaska Milk. Eight minutes and 53 seconds remaining in the ball game. Pumaran. Dinamas kay Evangelista. Evangelista top of the key. 
Dari GK Albon Patrimonio. Patrimonio nak ketinggian kemarin. Lama ke Jani Abarietos. Kemarin jadi bos ke Kapasio. Pancah ke sana syatak Jerry Kodijero. Wala. Ebang Hilis tak kau tahu dari mana betul yang lakukan Patrimonio. Wala pada Jerry Kodijero. That's a big offensive rebound coming from the outside. Jericho Dinero, but you've got to credit Alvin Patrimonio's heart. He may kept foul. that ball alive. May foul, though. May foul. Yes, may foul. Patrimonio getting the offensive rebound, keeping the ball alive. And Codinero from the outside, no body between Codinero and the basket. personal foul. Dito sa larong ito. 8 minutes and 32.4 seconds of... Colorful action still left at the end. Agating score 70 69 in favor of Alaska. One point lead by Alaska. Remember, Alaska looking to end the series here and now. Hawkins is open. Voila. Rebound. Hawkins for it. Goes out of bounds in favor of Alaska. And what a play by Bong Hawkins. He was out of bounds. Except his feet were not uh, yeah. out of bounds. Bounced it off Bong yes, Ravenna. Bounced it off Bong Ravenna, so Alaska will keep. Smart play by Hawkins. And he gets the ball down low. Gomez! That this time. Evangelista para sa rebound. He's been a forward for Pure Foods underneath the boards. Ray Evangelista. Well, boy, he's being compared to Dennis Rodman, and he's looking up to that. Yes. Seven minutes, 56 seconds to go. One point lead by Alaska. Evangelista! Blocked. Evangelista tries to get it back. It goes out of bounds. Referee Tangonan says... It's Pure Foods will keep it. Just 24 seconds shot clock for Pure Foods. Jericho Dinera puts it up. Short. Bong Rovena, napahaga yung talon. Napo ni Rommel Gomez. Big rebound by Rommel Gomez. Oh. I didn't know he jumped that high. One point lead still by Alaska. Georgia Lastimosa, pumo position na baki Bong Rovena. Lastimosa, humarap niyo. Lastimosa, dinilasan. Oh, grinding shot by Lastimosa. No good. By Lastimosa, no good. Kevin Rodas, napitawan sa baseline. Hustle, hustle, hustle. On both ends of the court, you've got to credit these two teams. They have given us first-class basketball from the word go. Well, the power young Ed, your uh, foods trying desperately to stay alive in this series. Para sa mga si Gindo Pumara, pinipigyan ng pick ni Patrimonio. Pumara ng spots, wala. Loose ball. Evangelista gets to it. Pasa ko Bong Rodena, lumabas. Last touch to Johnny Abarrientos. Close call because I thought Abarrientos might have uh, had some contact near the sideline. And you know, of course, Abarrientos with three personal fouls. Evangelista gets the pass at high post. Sabi niya, hindi ko press data. Alvin Patrimonio na bakit Kevin Ramos. Patrimonio makes his move. Talagang hindi pa magaling yung pangin. Medyo, hindi, buuga eh. Buuga. Patrimonio's pass. Gomez gets to it. Pero na, pulit yung Jericho Dinero. So, nani lang. Outside the row. Sabi ni referee tango na number three seconds on the shot clock of Pure Foods. Three seconds on the shot clock. Both these teams diving for the loose oh, ball as if their that. lives depended on it. Agad na nito. Oo. Bong Ravenna's pass to Dito Pumarin. Reverse layup. Hindi pumasok. Pumarin gets it back. Off to Patrimonio on the outside. Six minutes and 40 seconds to go. One point lead by Alaska. Patrimonio asking for the clear out, but he'll dish it off. Jericho Dinera. Nakita si Ravenna at the corner. Favorite spot. Yes! It's a three-point shot. And it's a triple V by Bong Ravenna. Alaska's defense not contesting the outside shot. All you need is to put a hand in the face of Ravenna by Oy. that time. Tinamaan si Lastimosa, ni Evangelista, sa muka. Nung uh, kumakat si uh, Lastimosa, hindi naman sinasadya. That's an accident. At, uh, well, the play will stop. Pag-apat na personal foul kay Ray Evangelista. Ayun yung tira ni Bong Ravenna. Sabi natin nga, favorite spot ni uh, Bong Ravena yan, sa gilid. Uncontested outside shot by Ravena. Six minutes, 14 seconds to go. This is game number five, ladies and gentlemen. Alaska looking to win the game and win the series. A wrap up the series. Pure Foods wants to extend it. 
Barrientos de la Vasca, Hawkins, ball fly. La balanza de Iván, pero un loose ball fly. It's going to be on Daniel Abarrientos. Abarrientos picks up foul number four. Alalahanin po rin yung mga kaibigan, si Hawkins ay meron ng apat. Ngayon, si Johnny Abarrientos meron na rin apat. Labang ang pure boots ng dalawa, 72 to 70. Five minutes and 49 seconds to go in the ball game. At si Mojo at the corner. Abarrientos tapos tinga pa kasi Jojo Lastimosa. Pero natapik ni Jolas ang bola. Abarrientos tawad it. Changes directions. The referee tawag na minakit ng foul sa ilalim. It's going to be against Kevin Ramos. As he was covering it. Tawag nito kahit saan ako magpunta ngayon. Ito ang pinag-uusapan Alaska Pure Foods. Kung Webes, nandun ako sa Pampanga. Yung mga tao ron, siyatan sa akin, Alaska Pure Foods. Maya pa ba yung uwi po kay kayo, mga kabalin ng Kinito Hensul? Oo. Wala naman siya natin sa Kapampanga. Oh, Diyos ko. Ito na. Si Aldo Patrimo. Ito yun, hindi ko na ikotatakot kay Kapa. Oo, yan. Kira na ko. Wala ka na ibang sinabi talaga. So, di kaya na besos mo pa outside. Last two was a fix up the loose ball. Jari Abarrientos Nanagala ang bola para sa Alaska Lamang po ang pure foods ng dalawa 72 to 70 5 minutes and 10 seconds To go in this ball game Abarrientos is open Best Well run execution by Alaska At What I can't understand Ed is kung bakit hindi nila Sinasentro ang offense ng Alaska Against Alvin Pachamon Who appears to be a liability on defense Turned around by, oh, that's a hard shot. Ray Evangelista with the offensive rebound. Wala. Nakuha niya ulit. Wala na naman. Ito na. Alaska on the run. Pero sa Poch Wigo, medyo may iniinda rin sa likod. Ano may pumipito ah? Oo nga, akala ko rin eh. May pumipito rin sa ODMs eh. Nalilito rin. Oo, kanya parang mga hito. Oo. Yung mga fast break ng Alaska. Nalilito rin yung mga players eh. Jari Abarreto, sumaksak sa loob. Oops, kapitawa ni Paul Suigo. We had a pass. Suigo really hasn't been involved in the offense here for Alaska with only two points. Okay, Kinito, meron tayong special dugout report here by Anthony Suntay on the condition of Rodney Santos. Anthony? Okay, thanks a lot, Ed. I'm standing, I'm sitting here right beside Rodney. Rodney, ano ba talaga nangyari? Kasi kanina, yung pagsundot ko kay Jolas, eh. Tumama yung kamay ko sa bola. Kaya lang, medyo malakas yung dating eh, paangat eh. So parang kumalas yung balikat ko. Buti naman, kasi alam ko babalik eh, kasi normal lang yung pag-dislocate niya. Kaya nung makita ko ni Bung, inangat niya. So pag-angat niya, bumalik. So okay na yung pakirantong ko. Kaya lang, syempre mahirap sumugal. Baka at least medyo pahinga muna tayo. Baka gusto ko maglaro eh. Okay, sige, marami salamat. Let's go back to you now, Ed. Parang bali wala sa kanila, no, na bumukul yung kanyang balikat. Sabi niya, basta hinila na lang ni Bong Ravena. Parang normal tayo yung disposition. Uy! Bong Ravena! Operating well inside. Speaking of Bong Ravena, 17 puntos na po ang ginagawa ni Ferdinand Ravena dito po sa larong ito. At lamang na naman ang dalawang pure food, 74, 72. Bong Hawkins at the corner. Kwane ko, jump by Hawkins. Wala! Ibang hilista? And they're called a foul, I think, on Abarientos. That will be number five. Yes! And that will put Pure Foods at the strike. That's the penalty situation working against Alaska. Abun na hindi. Tumitado. Pure Foods with a two-point lead. Three minutes and 45 seconds remaining. Alam mo, kanina, nasabi ko kay Chot Reyes, tumakita kami dun sa wakwak, nasabi ko sa kanya, mukhang relax na relax ka. Pero nung first quarter, naalala mo, ganito, tinawagan ka agad ang technical yan. Maagad-maaga, dahil parang mainit na mainit siya. I think he wanted to fire up his players. We mentioned that before, ito ko si Coach Chot Reyes, mahilig ka mahilig ka sa mga sidewalk. Sidewalk, oo. Isa rin niyang coach na ika nga, maraming... Tricks up his sleeve, ika nga. Samantala si Ray Evangelista, he has been at the forefront of the Pure Foods campaign in this ballgame. Split charities by Ray Evangelista. At binigyan po niya ang Pure Foods ng tatlong punto sa kalamang 75-72. Three minutes and 40 seconds remaining in the fourth and final quarter. Well, at this stage, useless na. Okay, need to see Johnny Abariyatos with five personal fouls. There's just so little time left. Jojo Lastimosa trying to get by Ravenna. Pochwigo. That's a foul. 
si posible naman ngayon sa mukha naman ito naman Jerry Cotillera Jerry Cotillera Jerry Cotillera Yes, and that would be team foul number 5 for Pure Foods So, matala ko yung Alaska eh, nagpas na sa penalty kanina pa So sideline inbound here for Alaska Ayun, ang nagawa nila sa ilalim Ed, what a struggle this has been. Plastimosa oh. taking it strong. Yes. Yeah. With a foul. What a move by Giorgio Lastimosa. Again, Pure Foods allowing Giorgio the baseline. Alam po rin nyo, mga kaibigan, kung uh, nanonood po kayo ngayon at medyo mahinahina ang puso nyo, medyo pa inuminom kayo ng tubig, pagkaraho ng ginagawa namin dito, this is not for the faint of heart. This excitement is just too much. Eh, kanina pa ako umiinom na tubig dito eh. Ako din. Nakakaisang pitchel na yata ako rito. <laughs> Tabla na naman, no? 75 all. 3 minutes and 10 seconds to go. Patrimonyo, laban kay Hawkins. Patrimonyo makes his move. Nilabas kay Ravenna. Ravenna with a set shot. Wala. Abaretos with a rebound. Abaretos pushing it up for Alaska. Abaretos in a hubble ni Evangelista. Abaretos sa kakita na put. Wala. At tinan natin. Loose ball foul. On Paul Sweeney. And Tim Cohn says, wag ka na magreklamo. Wag ka magreklamo. Okay lang. Sabi ni Tim Cohn. No complain. And Coach Tim Cohn telling Abariantos that he should have just taken the jump shot because he was wide open. He elected to drive strong to the hoop. He was hoping to get a foul in the process. Alam mo, sabi nga ng marami tao nakikita ko kanina, ano kaya? Is straight na ba na Alaska? Sabi mo, okay o. Pero sabi nga, sabi mo, panunuori ko pa rin. Bukang people felt it in their bones that the Pure Foods TJ Hot Dogs will want to come back and in a big way. Sa kasalukuyan, lamang ng isa ang Pure Foods. Hindi pa rin natin masabi. Maari pong kunin na ng Alaska itong kampionato rito. So, malaking bagay yung contribution ni Alvin Pachimonio, not only in terms of points, but in terms of inspiration oh. to his teammates. And uh, yan na naman isa sa mga surpresa ni Coach Sotrea. Take a look at the offensive rebound story. 18 to 4. At yung 6 to 18 ng uh, Pure Foods, kaya rin ibang ilista. Okay. Hawkins. Four seconds on the shot clock. Arriaso. Yes! Tabla na naman! 77 all. Two minutes and 20 seconds to go. Dito po sa ating game number five ng Best of Seven Championship Series. Evangelista. Laba kay Las Tumas. Ano naman si Jerry Cotillera? Cotillera. Nagahanap ng papasahan. Cotillera. Gets closer. Jumper is offline. Carriasso gets to it, binigay kay Charlie Abarietos. Sigawag po mga fans ng Alaska Milk as we go to the last two minutes at it's a new ng Tanwai Run 5 Years Junior Laban. Tanwai, the number one rum. 10 seconds on the shot clock of Alaska. Narito si Charlie Abarietos. Binibigyan ng pick-tip out sweet. Abarietos sumagsak, binigay ko Hawkins. Labas kay Las Tumosa. Open shot! Oh, what a basket! Giorgio Las Tumosa again delivering the goods from three-point range, no less. At may time out, si Coach Chot Reyes. Okay, mga kaibig. Ito po yung three-point shot ni Giorgio Lastimosa in that last play, which has given Alaska a three-point lead. Ang ating pong oras na lalabi, 1 minute 32 seconds. Alaska by 3, 80-77. And look at this move by Coach Tim Cohn. Johnny Abariento sitting on the bench. And it's two players taking his place because they needed someone who can gamble on defense. Abariento's with five personal fouls. Alam mo, Ed, mamaya, ito kayo, sabi nga gano'ng expected goal. Isang classic na laro between pure foods and Alaska. Ganito nga nangyayari. Ito nga, this is indeed a classic duel. One minute and 16 seconds to go. Just a one-point lead by Alaska. Some changes in the lineups. Holtz uh, and Rosella inside the game for Pinto Kumare. And he will uh, play top. 20 seconds. Uh, that's a 20-second timeout. Okay. Both teams in the penalty. Oi, that's the bossa. Libre. Subaksak sa loob. Pinasa pa bola. Nakagulo. Outside for Alaska. 
Two seconds on the shot clock. Only two seconds on the shot clock of Alaska. 103 to go on the game clock. What a decision on Lasty Monster's part. He was mid-air, but he oh, the shot. And the shot clock has expired on Alaska. Okay. At, <laughs> naku. Sinasabi ko sa'yo, okay dito, eh, talaga namang mga tao rito, halos, halos mahulog na sa upuan. Yan po ang ating game reset, yan po ang sitwasyon. Pareho po na sa penalty. Meron pa po na lang tayo mga Tangalaska, isa para sa Pure Foods. Magmula po sa umpisa ng larong ito, wala pong patid ang aksyon at kagilagilalas na ikangay basketball na ipinakikita ng dalawang kupunang ito. Defensive unit here for Alaska, Castello and Reyes on the floor. Kamatala sa Bok Rabena. Umaatang ngayon para sa Pure Foods. Nasa loob na siya. Tinabot na po na kayo mga Lista! It has been Rey Adama Lista keeping that Pure Foods flag of trying. Pero maganda yung pasang yun ni Bong Rabena. Yes. Maganda yung pasang ni Bong Rabena. At nakikita po ninyo si Rey Bang Hinista. Binibigyan ng high fives ng kanyang mga uh, kakampi. This game will have to go down into the books, Kinito, as one of those classics again here in the PBA. Oh, definitely so. Now, Rosello and Johnny Abarientos, it's going to be a clear out for him. He'll use the pick set up by Bong Hawkins. Arriaso. Lastimosa on the three! Yes, again! Lastimosa, another three-point basket! The and one quarter execution! Band. The one execution! The fourth quarter band delivers for Alaska and the Belkman up by two. We have a timeout by Chot Reyes. All right, here's the situation, folks. At this point, Alaska was down by one. George Lastimosa with a three-point shot. Big triple V by Jolas. And now Alaska is in the lead by two. 83 to 81 here in game five. Pero meron pa po tayo na 29.4 seconds. Malayo pa po yan. As you see, Mr. and Mrs. Frederick Teng Su cheering their team on. Of course, that's Alaska. Dalawang puto sa kalamangan ng Alaska with 29.4 seconds. And that's what you call precise execution. There was a high pick set up by Bong Hawkins with Abarientos. He dribbled around that pick, passed it off to Jeffrey Cariazo. He came in, tried to get off a jump shot, found his way not clear, and then he passed it back. The kick out to Giorgio Lastimosa. What an execution by Alaska. Well, nakita rin natin nung uh, uh, last uh, basket ni Rey Evangelista sa Pure Foods. Maganda rin ang execution of a timeout. So, tinan natin kung ano mangyayari dito. But whatever happens here, mga kaibigan, sabi nga natin, this game is really one that will be remembered for a very, very long time. Kahit sino manalo. So this is the big challenge now on Alaska's defense. Aparientos is in the game. He was not replaced by June Reyes for defensive purposes. Oh, oh, this is by Bob Hawkins. Uh, Patrimonio gets it over to Bob Ravana. Bob Ravana underneath. Score! The tying basket with 18.7 seconds remaining. 18.7 seconds remaining. We are tied again. Now we'll find out whether they can pull off a defensive stop here on Alaska. Barrios gets the inbound. Remember, both teams in the penalty cannot afford to foul. Barrios has it in the long court. Rosella watching him. Barrios looking at the clock. They will go for the last shot. It's down to six. Barrios. Rosella with the last two. There was no foul called by the referees, and that's the way it should be. In a championship contest, let the players decide the outcome of the game, but Tim Cohn literally up in arms. There was an escape back by Bong Hawkins. Panoorin natin, panoorin natin nangyari. Ito po nangyari mga kaibigan. Lee Steele by Olsen Rosella. Aparentos dives for it. And Aparentos will find Bong Hawkins. His path almost clear to the basket. And there's Winyo putting up the shot. And he missed. Okay, mga kaibigan. Si Tim Cohn, mainit na mainit pong uh, nagsisisigaw. At uh, sabi niya, bigay niyo kami ng pwesto rito sapagkat uh, pinapaligiran siya ng mga uh, photographers, kinukunan ng litrato. Sabi ni Tim Cohn, huwag din ako kunan ng litrato. Masama ang timpla ko. 
Ah, man, I thought it was a good no call on the part of the referees. Okay, okay. Eight to three all. After the regulation, we'll go into overtime, but first, these reminders. Suskiro. Suskiro. Hindi ko malaman, mga kaibigan. Ito pong, ito pong dalawa ko po lang ito. Saludo ko. Saludo ko sa Alaska. Saludo ko sa Pure Foods. They really made my day. Ed, credit where it's due. In that last defensive stop of Purefoods, you've got to give credit to Olsen Rosella. He bothered the dribbling rhythm right, of Johnny right. Abariantos. Siya nakabulabog to uh -huh. sa dribble ni Abariantos and he caused that uh, um, confused uh, Alaska offense. Mga kaibigan, hindi po kayang tapusin sa 48 minutos ang problema. Kung sino mananalo, Alaska Purefoods, Meron na naman tayong lima minuto. We are in overtime! Regulation score was 83 all. Bolado versus Cordillera. Cordillera taps it over to Bob Ravenna. Remember, oh. Abarientos and Ravenna both with five personals apiece. Good for Pumarin on the long court. Wala na gumagalaw. Bob Ravenna, eight seconds on the shot clock. Pinigay ko Patrick Mojo. Patrick Mojo, pinapot na naman Hawkins. Patrick Mojo puts it up! Wala. Tapik ni Ravena kay Pumarin. Ravena with the top of the offensive board. And Pure Foods is in the lead by two. Jadia Barrientos. Pero foul. Given up by Dinto Pumarin. Sa overtime po tayo mga kaibigan. Sa Game 5, udlot na udlot yung uh, celebration ng Alaska. <laughs> Ewan ko ayan, nakikita po ninyo si Coach Tim Cohn. Halos hindi makapaniwala. Partner si Kinsikan dito, ha? Roel Gomez and Jorge Lastimosa, the only two remaining players of Alaska's 1991 champion team, now playing for Coach Tim Cohn to start the overtime period. Okay. Si Johnny Abarientos po, nasa linya. Kumusta ko mo din ha sa kabisayan ng Bindanao, ang inyong mga alagad, at Pixon o Kinito Henson para nining dua na purpidang kinuta mga higala. Johnny Abarientos, this is on the first. As pressure on those free throws, the flying A, taking aim, Split charities by Johnny Abarietos at Pure Foods leads it by 185-84. Overtime period po tayo mga kaibigan. We're in the first minute of the extension. Alvin Patrimonio may dala ng bola para sa Pure Foods. Binigay kay Dito Pumarin. They're posting him up against Johnny Abarietos. Pumarin, tubihin. Uy! Johnny Abarietos is fouled out. He has fouled out in this game. They got what they wanted. Johnny Abarietos. Fishing expedition by Dito Pumarin lands a big one. And what a play. Sixth personal foul by Johnny Abarrientos. And now Coach Tim Cohn will have to go the remaining route with June Reyes as point guard. Ayos, kita kita yung foul ni Johnny Abarrientos. Abarrientos, hindi niya pinabayaan si Dindo Pumarin. And what a well-executed play by Pure Foods. They went to the low post maneuver. And Dindo Pumarin getting that sixth and last foul of the Flying A. Well, obvious no obvious no. Si Alvin Patrimonio ng dala ng bola. Si Pumarin na nasa low post, baliktad na baliktad. Ito si Johnny Abarieto, nasa bench na po. Exactly. That was really the play of Coach Chod Reyes. They didn't want Pumarin to bring up the ball because they wanted him to get the ball at low post so that he can score off Johnny. Pumarin, wala. Two-point lead by Pure Foods at 86-84. Still have three minutes and 51 seconds to go in the ball game. Jim Reyes, better than bola para sa Alaska. Piniga kay Ruel Gomez. Gomez will begin to pick the ball, Hawkins. Back to Hawkins. Jim Reyes. Hawkins, top of the feet jumper. Wala. Ball in Ravenna. Para sa rebound. Ravenna, binigay kay Evangelista, off to Pumarin. Here's Patrimonio. Patrimonio, nakatingin na naman kay Pumarin. Back to Albi. What a shot by Alvin Patrimonio. He's playing hurt. Captain Lionheart delivers. Three-point lead by Pure Foods here in overtime. Partner, here's he's here. an interesting piece of trivia. Alaska Milk, since last year, has played seven overtime games. Has not won a single one of those seven games. 
Ako? Ikaw na ba? Ano <laughs> <laughs> sinabi yan ngayon? Hindi <laughs> ba pwedeng pagkatapos na lang nalang ako? <laughs> Ayan na eh. Magbibigay natin ng suspense at saka added drama well, sa larong ito. There's always a first time. Sabi nga. <laughs> Jolas at the line. Pwede na po. Abhiyawan dito sa Araneta Coliseum. Napakalakas. Dumadagundong yung mga fans ng Alaska. Ngayon naman, yung mga fans ng Pure Foods. Pariaso, by the way, has come back in for Ruel Gomez on the Alaska side. Pure Foods lead is 3 points, 88-85, here in overtime. Ray Evangelista. Pinabot kay Jerry Cabigora. Tumarans to the play post. Binigay bola sa kanya. Ravena. Tomorrow. Ito si Patrimo. The three seconds on the shot clock. Evangelista. He puts it up. That's how he goes. Patrimo. Wala. Kedigira para sa riba. Ito rin yung foul. Abana po. Abana po. Things are falling into place here for Pure Foods. Here's that shot. A long rebound. He kinakuha ni Kevin Ramas. Yes. Pag limang personal foul po ni Kevin Ramas. At si Patrimonio ay nasa 4.5 meter line. Well, as we've mentioned, since way back the second half end, the big men of Alaska just have not been able to perform up to par. And here we're talking of Polado and Winio and Kevin Ramas. Ang aros po na nalabi, 2 minutes and 42 seconds in the extension period. Wala. Hindi pumasok yung pangalawa ng Patrimonio, but they lead it by 4, 89-85. Two minutes and 35 seconds to go. Bong Hawkins with another wala para sa Alaska. Binabot kayo si Jerry Codigera. Kevin Ramos. Dini distansya ka ni Alvin Patrimonio. Bong Hawkins again. That's a pick by Cariaso. Hawkins. Pinabas to Jun Reyes. A traveling violation of Jun Reyes. A traveling violation. The pressure telling here on Johnny Abarientos' reliever. One big story here in the second half. Bong Hawkins failure to produce points because of Jerry Codigera's tough defense. Hawkins limited to only two points in the fourth period. 89-85, two foot by four. Patrimonio, sumasak sa kalob. Labang kay Hawkins, pumihit. Top pass to Evangelista, napitawan. Napitawan na Evangelista. Exchange of turnovers. Still a lot of, lot, still a lot of time left in this game. 2-0-6. Four point lead by two foots. Overtime period po tayo, Jun Reyes. At tapos po tayo sa last two minutes. Atin sa inyo ng Tanduay Round 5 is Junior Lapad. Tanduay, the number one round. Hawkins, labang kay Cotigera. Balik ulit kay Reyes. Four seconds at the shot. Cariaso! Very patient play by Alaska. Looking for the open man. That shot clock almost expiring on the milkman. 89-87. Two point lead para ng Pure Foods. One minute and 35 seconds to go in overtime. Rosella. Out now to Jericho Dignera. Tatawag ng 20 second timeout. Si Jericho Dignera. And his structures. Our coach, Chuck Reyes. 20 second man. A full timeout. Full timeout mga kaibigan. Pagpahingay po na natin ang bonus. Come on, Rosella. Dito sa BTV on IBC. Alam po namin, nandiyan pa kayo. Mabuti naman. Sapagkat hindi po ninyo magugusto ang mamis itong larong ito. With 8 seconds on the shot, uh, Pure Foods will inbound from the midcourt line. 89-87. Lamang ng dalawang Pure Foods. Ang game clock po natin, 1.5 minutes ang nakatala. Team Pumaren. Hey! Binigay kay Evangelista. Botik na makawala. Oops! Bad pass by Evangelista na po ni Cariaso. Ito lang, matak na ang Alaska. Uh, big love for the, the part of Ray Evangelista. 89-87. Pure Foods by 2, 1 minute for 13 seconds to go. Overtime. Cariaso. Binigo kay Hawkins. Hawkins na bakit ko Dignera. There's a pass for the out! There's a Dignera na kuna pumarin! Big back there by Jericho Dignera. Pumarin, let's run with the ball from Vera. After Evangelista, the corner na binigo Cariaso. Cariaso, after John Reyes, John Reyes, Las Pimosa! Tabla! Tabla tayo! Cariaso with two crucial steals. Both underneath the Pure Foods basket. Oh. 45 seconds to go. Tied ball game in overtime at 89 all. There's Patrimonio, Labakel Hawkins. 
Patrimonio della basket Pumaren. Rovera asking for the low post pass. Rovera takes it inside! Oh! Rovera canina pa, hindi hindi na pasa. Sinere sa niya kay Patrimonio, I want the basketball! Naibigay naman sa kanya, and he scored. And now, we have a timeout. Let's see play here by Bong Ravena. Sabi nga natin, kanina pa niya hinihingi yung pasa. Alam na alam niya that he's got it in him to score this basket. At hindi po makamaya ang mga tao rito mga kaibigan. Ang mga pure foods ng dalawa, 91 to 89. At ito, totoo ang babae po ito. Kadalasan kasi yung mga nagsasayaw dyan eh, kung minsan eh, nagkukunwa rin babae. Eh, kasalukay po mga kaibigan. Ang ating oras na nalalabi, 32.9 seconds. The Pure Foods TJ Hot Dogs in the lead by 2, 91 to 89. Hindi pa rin settled ang ating issue. Well, far from it. This is a two-possession game. So, a big advantage here for Pure Foods. They are ahead by 2. And assuming that uh, Alaska spends the next 24 seconds out of this 32-second clock, Pure Foods will still get back possession. Okay. Alaska Arit. badly needs a basket. Got it to raise the ball. Okay, it's grabbed by Jerry Codigera. The basket Jim Reyes. Jeffrey Carriasso of Tolas Cumosa. Grabbed by the Bagirista. The basket Jim Reyes. Reyes. Reyes for the jungle. Reyes! The basket by Jim Reyes. 20.4 seconds remaining. The blood of the Batayos at 91 all. And we have another timeout. Tanya. Akin na nga yung brake fluid, magkaka- Point of view. Okay, mga kaibigan, ito po yung opensa ng Alaska to tie the ball game si June Reyes. Lumapit pa. At ang ganda-ganda na forma ni June Reyes to tie the count at 91 all, 20.4 seconds remaining. Nakita po ninyo mga Utengsu raising their arms in jubilation. Pero malayo pa po ito, 20 segundos. Pure Foods ang may tangan ng bola. Alam mo kayo nito? Kung ito ay uh, tumagal pa ng isa pang extension, talagay ko bukas, hindi ako makakapagsalita. Mawawala na ang bola. Plastado ko na Pero, sa kama. But, but kayo nito, I don't mind. These, these, these guys, these two teams have given us a class act all throughout. Oh, yes. Uh, if we only could have co-champions in oh. the Filipino conference, we have to give it to both Pure Foods and Alaska. My partner, this shoe is on the other foot because in regulation, it was Alaska with possession and the score was tied and Pure Foods needed a defensive stop. Now it's Pure Foods in possession, Alaska needing the defensive stop and 20.4 seconds to go. 91 all. At si Merwin Castello po, ang bubulabok yung bong Ravena na siya magiging inbounds para sa Pure Foods. Ravena, oh! Kasi tayo pa, boy! Hawkins! 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 That will be Hawkins. Six to Bayona, hindi. Bong Hawkins, panglima lang. No, that I think that'll be panglima. Mga kaibigan, nakakaroon ng dalawang free throw si Alvin Patrimonio with 10.3 seconds remaining. Well, here we have a situation where Merwin Castello was wide open underneath the basket, but the pass did not come. Hawkins looking for the fourth quarter man, Giorgio Lastimosa, and he lost possession on the penetration. Ayan po, mga kaibigan, ang foul ni Bong Hawkins pang iba. Ang sabi nga nila, dapat siguro nag-timeout si Bong Hawkins, but... But ang patrimonyo, puts Pure Foods in the lead by one, 92-91, 10.3 seconds to go. Batong dito. Alaska, Alaska has one more timeout. Yes, and there will be pressure now, there will be pressure for Alaska to score in the last possession here in overtime. Pero tignan muna natin kung papasok itong tira ng patrimonyo. Earlier, he split his charities. We are in overtime, folks. Pure Foods by one. 10.3 seconds to go. Missed! Ayun, tumawag ng timeout si Bong Hawkins. Oh, boy! Oh, boy! 9.4 seconds to go. One point lead by Pure Foods. Break muna tayo. Break muna tayo. Peace lang. Break muna tayo. Ladies and 
Pure Foods in the lead by one, 92-91, with 9.4 seconds remaining in overtime. Alaska will have possession of this timeout. Both teams in the penalty. Pure Foods cannot afford to foul. Now we have the same situation back in regulation, except in that particular situation, Alaska did need to score. Now Alaska must score. If it doesn't, it will lose game number five. Both teams are the penalty, folks. So, hindi ko kung pwede. Basta, basta bang foul dito. Remember, Abarientos already has fouled out. Last two sa hazard against the Bacchilista. There's a switch. Para ito sa Hawkins. Reyes is over. Block! What a block! Para sila! Para sila with a big block. 1.4 seconds remaining. Just 1.4 seconds remaining. The big lane is up here, folks. Kaya na time out. 1.4 seconds to go. 92-91, Pure Foods on top by one in overtime. Can they get a shot off on time? Here's referee Ernie De Leon telling Alvin Patrimonio to give Kevin Ramos some offensive space. Oh, oh they foul, they foul, they foul. Oh my gosh, they, they pito, they a pito. foul. A foul has been committed by Pure Foods with 0.6 of a second to go. Ravenna committing the foul. Sixth and last. Unbelievable turn of events. With 1.4 seconds remaining, mga kaibigan, ang inbound a is foul has been foul. committed. Well, that deserves a second look. Okay. Now, there's uh, pressure here on Carriaso. Madali lang. Medyo pinapakiusapan po yung mga tao na huwag papasok sa hard court. So that's that important, important ito. Carriazo to win the championship for Alaska at the stripe. Six tenths of a second. Point six seconds more na lalabi. Carriazo with two free throws. They are down by one. 92-91 in overtime. Okay. Uh, si Edmund Reyes po, ang pinasok ni Coach Chot Reyes para kay Bong Ravenna. Uh, Cariaso with yeah. two pressure-laden free throws. Now this could possibly go into a second overtime. It all depends on Cariaso or Fugut can win it outright if he misses both. First by Cariaso, it's good! We are tied at 92 all. We are tied at 92 all. Ito yung play kanina. Ito yung foul kanina. Pano yung repeat natin? Yes, there was a foul. Very clear, there was a foul by Bong Ravenna. Carriazo was airborne, and what a play by Alaska from the inbound. Listen, six tenths of a second, point six seconds remaining. Yes, there was a foul. Yes. Very clear, there was a foul by Bong Ravenna. Carriazo was airborne, and what a play by Alaska from the inbound. Listen, six tenths of a second, point six seconds remaining. Carriazo can win it for Alaska. And we're talking about the championship. Championship na ito. Magpinasok ni Carriazo. Alaska wins it! Alaska is going to win it! Oh, 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 oh! Tengok na, tengok na! Hey! Alaska! 1996 All Filipino Cup Champions! Oh, boy! What a way to end it! There was no other way! There was no other way! That this game could have ended! Except by that dramatic, very dramatic free throw, or those dramatic free throws by Jeffrey Carriasso. Ed, what a dramatic turn of events! And this is the way a championship game should end. Yes, I, I agree 100%, Gilito. And what a gallant effort on the part of Pure Foods. Undermanned as it was, Alvin Patrimonio playing hurt, giving it his all in the fourth period in overtime. Well, Pure Foods certainly bucked the odds. They almost were able to extend the series. But as we said, it was just the breaks of the game that really determined who would win game number five. Well, Ed, I'll tell you, Alaska won it 
without Johnny Abarrientos. He was sitting yes. on the bench in yes, the last few minutes of overtime. 93-92 win by Alaska in overtime. Let's go over to Ronnie Nathaniels with some very important interviews. Ronnie. Yes, I'm with Coach Tim Korn. You Once again, you escaped by the skin of your teeth. Yeah, we did. And uh, you know, I, you know, I kind of ended on two questionable calls. You know, uh, one, we thought Edward Wino got fouled at the end of overtime, at the end of the regulation. And then this call here was a big call. But uh, kind of justice was done, I guess. If we, we, we felt we got missed on that call before. Now, Tim, this is your first All-Filipino. It must mean a lot to you. It does, because... You know, everybody's always accused us of, of winning because of uh, imports. And, uh, um, you know, I think the guys today just wanted to come out and say that, hey, you know, we're the best team in the country right now. I mean, nobody else can say they're better than us here in the country. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's why it was so important. You know, in the past it was, well, we won because of Sean Chambers or we had a better import or whatever. No one can say that now. You know, we played, you know, we, we dominated the series, we won the series, and, uh, you know, we're the best team. Well, they, you must give them credit for the way they played this championship series. I mean, this team never gave up. No, they didn't. Are you talking about us or Pierfoot? Pierfoot. No, they didn't, and uh, uh, we didn't either. You know, we had that four-game losing streak, came back from that, but Pierfoot showed a lot of courage. I've said it throughout the series. They were playing hurt. They didn't have Ivan at least 100% healthy. Patrimonio, their, their main man, was, was hurt, so... Um, you know, they fought us all the way, and, uh, you know, we just felt if we could come out and play tonight and play really hard, stay with them, stay with them, we could squeeze it out, and we did. You got some big baskets from Jojo Lastimos and, of course, the two free throws of Jeffrey Cariasso. Yeah, they, they both played excellent basketball, and Johnny was in foul trouble all night, and, and so we really had to lean on Jojo, and then Jeffrey stepped in real hard, and, and Bong, of course, played his normal, you know, 100% game all the time. Yeah, it's just super game by Bong Hawkins. Now, Tim... You know, you've won so many championships. You've been in the final six six times in a row. Does it kind of disappoint you, or do you wonder why any of your key players haven't won any major awards? You no, know, I, I read uh, Kenito Hanson's article today, and, uh, and I think he's a little bit right. You know, we're still searching for the respect. Kenito is never totally right. He's only a little bit right. And, uh, you know, we're still searching for our respect, and we hope we're going to gain a little bit more from this uh, championship. But, you know, we've just discussed that amongst our team, uh, and we've talked to our players. The imports know, too, coming in that, you know, we're really uh, uh, a team that, try, that has great balance, and we try to balance it out every game. And when we have that great balance, there's no one player that can really come up with those big stats every game to get the MVP. So it's mostly based on stats. And uh, so, you know, the players understand that. You know, JoJo has resigned himself to the fact, boom, and Johnny, and tell you the truth, I don't want anybody to win because if boom wins, then Johnny's going to say, well, i got to win one, too. It's better that we don't win and win championships. Well, thank you very much, and congratulations to you. Are we going to talk to Jeffrey Cariasso? Come on, we're calling to Jeffrey Cariasso. Uh, he's over here. Come on, Jeffrey. He and the coach are hugging. Okay. Okay, give me a minute to Jeffrey. Okay, Jeffrey, those were two pressure-packed charities. I mean, did you feel at any moment that this game depended on you? Gosh, you know what? It's funny because I have, you know, I have, that was the most crucial two free throws I've ever shot in my whole life. And I just want to thank God that he gave me the spirit and his wisdom just, just kept me strong. And I'm happy that it just fell for me. You know, of course, uh, with 0.6 second, uh, six tenths of a second left in the game, the referee made a tough call and you made two tough free throws. Yeah, well, you know, there was a good back pick by Joe when I cut in the middle. It was a good pass and, I, you know, there was no time to, to grab the ball and shoot. You just had to put it up and hopefully you get the call. And, you know, we got the call. I'm just happy about that. You've had a good series. I mean, you've been one of the key factors of this Alaska yeah. team. You must be happy with the way you're yeah. playing. And I'm just happy that we won. Thank you. No. I'm just so happy. What about the future? Guys, you know what? There, there's more to Alaska. You know, we're looking forward to the second conference. But, you know, we need to take a couple of days rest first before we go out there. Can I greet somebody? Yes, sure. Yeah, I just want to say hi to what's up, B in Cagayan. I want to say everyone from um, Santa Mesa, everyone from Bulacan, everyone from Cagayan de Oro. What's up? Everybody at home, too. Bye. Okay, thank you very much right, and congratulations. You much. You're most welcome. Okay, let's go now to the panel. All right, thank you very much, Ronnie. And, well, as expected, there's Bedlam in the hard court right now. Well, nakita po ninyo mga kaibigan kanina, inaward yung first runner-up trophy sa Pure Foods DJ Hot Dogs. At, uh, syempre, pa itong championship trophy naman. At nakikita ninyo, nagpipicture-taking itong Alaska team, a very jubilant uh, 
Mr. Fred Uitengsu, the team owner. At alam mo kinito, kagaya nga na sinabi mo kanina, kung pwede lang na mayroong uh, magkaroon tayo ng co-champions, eh, definitely, these two teams deserve to be. Well, I'll tell you, this particular game has to be one of the best games we have ever seen in PBA history. And this is the way to end a championship series. And it couldn't have been possible without the tremendous effort on the part of Pure Foods. And for Alaska, well, they had to do it with Johnny Abarrientos riding the bench. And they did it in just the same way that Pure Foods won game number three with Alvin Patrimonio riding the bench. Jeffrey Carriasso, incidentally, was our choice as Gilby's choice player of the game. At kanina ito si Ronnie Nathaniels. Alam mo, we have a running uh, verbal battle with Ronnie. Sabi niya, a little, bit, uh, a little bit correct like si Kinito. But it was Ronnie Nathaniels who told me before this game that Pure Foods was going to win. And I told him it was going to end tonight. Well, <laughs> you, almost, you, almost, you almost lost uh, that particular point. Sinabi mo rin sa akin kanina yan. Sabi mo, pagod na Pure Foods. Hindi naman nanalo ito, pero sabi ko sa iyo, I don't know if they're going to win it, but I'm sure they're going to give it a heck of a fight. And that's exactly what happened. Okay. Sa, type, sa kasalukuyan, mga kaibigan, kasama ni Ronnie Nathaniel. You know, this is what? Your third championship already? Which is the sweetest? Uh, ito siguro yung matasabi ko pinakamasarap, ano? Kasi all Filipino, bihira lang dumating to once a year, so... Siguro, kailangan talaga may prove mo. So right now, na-prove na namin na nag number one din ng Alaska. Masasabi mo talaga na ano, the best team in the Philippines, Alaska. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Totoo yan. Ngayon lang namin na-prove. Ay! Na kahit pala ako. Kahit namin manalo. Alam mo, Johnny. Alam mo, Johnny. Johnny, Johnny, dito sa first half, mukhang, mukhang masasabi natin na you were taken out of the game by Pure Fools, three early fouls. Anong pakiramdam mo nun? Uh, wala na ako mag magagawa ron, ano? Nakahol na ng referee, may mga bad goals. So, kailangan na lang namin mag-step up sa depensa, doblehin namin yung effort ng team. Tapos, nung nawala ako, sabi ko na lang, oh Lord, sabi ko, bahala ka na sa akin, bahala ka na sa team. Wala na ako magagawa, hindi magdasal sa'yo. I love you, honey! I love you! I love you, JC! Thank you, Lord, for this one. Thank you, Lord. Okay, congratulations sa'yo, Johnny. Chino, ikaw naman! <laughs> ako, di ba masaya ako, naliligo na. So, dito tayo. May pinakita ka sa amin na talagang si Jojo Lastimosa may kakaibang dugo. Talaga bang may, may yellow yung dugo mo? When the, when the time came for you to deliver a three-point shot, you did. Dalawang beses pa. Well, well first of all, Chino, I want to thank God for, for, for this win, for, for the championship. And um, your question was, um, again, um, somebody has to take charge. Si Johnny wala na. Si Bong was there, but um, again, the time was, um, yung situation, nandun ako to take it, and I took it, and, and it was just, uh, siguro... We, we were meant to, to win this championship and kaya pumasok yung mga three-point shots ko. Jojo, six times the championship, the one ng All-Filipino, lahat ng klase championship, nakunan mo na. Ano pang gusto mo? Ano pang habol nyo? Grand Slam? Pwede. It's, it's not far-fetched and um, I think we're gonna, we're gonna continue to, to win and hopefully the guys will stay hungry and um, continue to practice and continue to, to, to win and sana hindi magsasawa sila pag panalo. Joy, isang uh, final thing. Saan ang gagaling inspiration mo? Ibang klase ang pinapakita mo. Pag fourth quarter, talagang iba ka. At mukhang ibang inspiration. Saan ang gagaling ito? Well, the Lord has given me an opportunity to, to do what I can. And I think that's my inspiration there na He has put me in this situation. And, and siguro it's just right now, I, I take advantage of it. So it's, I'm, I'm giving glory to Him by playing well and doing my best and doing what I can to win and for the team. On the side, Butchik! Hello! Hi, 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 hi! Ay, tatlong alak mo! CD and KitKat! All of them in the house! Nakagayan di oro! Lahat sa baloy!